I left my job at a shoe disposal plant. It was soul destroying. I mean, I know 9-11 was bad with 3,000 victims from America, but spare a thought for Islam. They lost 19 of their best hijackers that day. <laughs> What's the difference between an Iraqi and a redneck? I don't know. At least the redneck was drunk when he married his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought a new um, Angus Bull a couple of weeks back and um, makes, makes six grand. And... Um, Put them into a load of heifers. Just no interest. Just fucking walking around, eating grass. No interest in them. I'm like, fucking hell. Half of them are on bullying and just, just not interested. So I ring the vet. Vet comes up. He's like, oh, don't worry. I've got some stuff for that. Gives, gives me a bottle of pills. There you go. Put them on there. Fuck me. Next day, he's fucking riding fuck out of all of them. I'm like, Jesus, this is shit hot. The old man turns around and he says, what the fuck did the vet give you? I said, I don't know, but it tasted like peppermint. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, scumbags. Welcome back to another episode of In the Doghouse. The podcast is to degenerates what crack was to Whitney Houston. Don't do too much. You end up dead in the bathtub. I don't know. I don't know if listening to something will have the same effect as an actual substance, but I don't. Someone just try it. Well, yeah, I've, I've, well, I don't know the effect I've had seen on some people that've been listening for two years. I'm like, Jesus Christ, meth would have been easier. <laughs> <laughs> huh, look at the state of Keith. <laughs> the amount you charge for merch, meth, meth would have been cheaper. Fuck <laughs> off. No, I was gonna. I was gonna say something then about another, um, another influencer people that have seen, saw the prices of their merch recently. Did, did you see that? Actually, I don't think I did. Oh, well, I'll have to show you in the break some some people that we know that also do merch in, and in, stuff. Merch and stuff. Yeah, saw their prices and thought, oh, Jesus Christ! I suppose it's cheap shit as well, isn't it? Yes, Beachfields, Beachfield oh, yeah. snapbacks. Yeah, see, I, I prefer Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't have Ralph Ryan, he's just a just a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> never ends, never ends. Right, housekeeping. Buy merch or don't buy merch. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> it just gets less and less like happy about it. Marlon, by the time this comes out, we might have some new merchandise in stock. Yeah, no, we might. Or I'm not going to lie to you. To put out listeners, yet. by the time this comes out, I will probably be back from America. We've had to stack up like. four four episodes in advance so we don't know what's going to be here and when I don't even know what fucking day it is if, anymore uh, you'll see it on Instagram you'll see it on Instagram if it's there or or anywhere or that it might be I don't know we might have new shirts well we're basically working on a new t-shirt design and we have decided to well, I don't know if we said in the last episode we might have done I don't know we have decided to reorder the OG uh, the, the hoodies the Certified scumbag. So big, many back in stock requests. Big X design. Yeah. So we didn't think, well, we, we knew they were going to be popular, but we were very much like, right, done now, on to the next one. But everybody wants them. So I'm like, okay, we'll fucking do them. So, yeah. Give the listeners what they want. That is true. So yeah, they're coming back. Uh, also, much a shout out to the Patreons. <laughs> <laughs> we have a button for that. <laughs> yes. I just can't pull fucking find it. There you go, you fucking happy now? Yeah, uh, alright, yeah, yeah. Massive shout out to the patrons, you absolute fucking degenerates. You are the people that keep us going. Yeah, literally, yeah. You can, and if you want to become a patron, you can from a little, a little as £1.25 a month, which is nothing. It's nothing. I know it costs a living crisis and that, boys, but fucking hell. It's like, it's cheap as fuck. Or you can go all the way up to like for £6 a month if you want to be a true scumbag, get 10% off the merch, all that fucking good shit. Or if you don't want us to carry on, just don't support us. Fuck yeah, you. as we said in the previous podcast, the next uh, the next bar crawl will be offered to Patreons first because it's a ticketed event. So, you know, we, we have to give back to the people that give us shit. So, yeah, not that we not that we took anything from the last one. We actually lost three grand. So there you go. <laughs> Business. <laughs> business. We are businessmen business. <laughs> doing business things. Yeah, this I think the next one's going to be... trade um... deal possibly in the history of trade deals possibly ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's going to be bigger, better, more people, better stuff going on, I think. I, yeah, I don't, we're, we're still in the planning stages. But don't worry, it's happening. But it's happening, it's sorted. Yeah. Um, and before we get into it, Marlon. A massive shout out to the sponsor of this episode, Holy Fox. Fucking Fox. 
Get on. Yes. So I I messaged Kieran uh, and I was like, is there anything else you want us to say on the uh, on the older little ad read shit that we do? And he said, yes. He said, let the listeners know that I cannot bake like Sean the chef. I can't <laughs> haul I can't haul in bulk like Chris Bradford and Phil Barton. I can't move cars like the auto mover, but it's one thing I can fucking do, and that's accounts, you motherfuckers, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, hit up Ollie Fox for all your accounts he needs. Uh, he is a man with the plan. He is an absolute champion, a long-time sponsor of a podcast. Yeah, massive support. And a massive shout-out to everyone who's actually got in touch with Kieran. Uh, yeah, uh, he uh, he said to me today, he was like, I pick up the phone, and um, we go, uh, hi, Ollie Fox, Kieran speaking. They go, oh, hi, Kieran, it's uh, X, Y, and Z speaking. I'm... I'm I'm calling because uh, I've, I've heard you uh, do quite good accounts. Like, oh yeah, where'd you hear that from? Oh, I've I've heard you on the Doghouse podcast. He goes, shut. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like immediately drops all the formal shit he's like right what do you need to dodge yeah. no I'm joking yeah. he doesn't do that he doesn't do that yeah so hit up Ollie Fox where can we lose that to then uh, he's at Ollie Fox on Instagram uh, or look him up at www.olliefox.co.uk or uh, yeah pin post episode description you link know. in bio you, everything you know what he's to sweet cool right Marlon who joins us tonight so tonight we have the one, the only, Toucan Van Dam. Hey. How you doing? Shalom, shalom, my brother. And the one and only master of all accents, <laughs> Mr. Hector Neal. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I Reg, hate... I need to have a word with you. I hate Kermit Because 15 years ago, your parents <laughs> took my wife away from me. <laughs> now, I don't have any money. But what I do have is a very particular set of skills. <laughs> skills that make me a nightmare for someone like you. <laughs> But you bring the girl back. I will hunt you down. I will find you. And I will kill you. What's on, motherfucker? Oh, mate. That is... That, yeah, I, That's I was, intimidating, isn't it? That is scary, yeah. If I've been approach. scared by a frog. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> first I'm, I'm, I'm scared by fucking... A frog which doesn't really exist. Oh, he does, though. He does. In my dreams. In um, his nightmares. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared enough of Kermit without him fucking doing... Really good impressions. Just won't close my eyes when you're doing it. I'd be scared more of Gary Glitter, mate. Fucking, uh, I, you leave Uncle Gaz out of this. <laughs> right? We don't bring family into this. <laughs> I'm right? in fucking my gang. <laughs> it's the leader of the gang. <laughs> oh god. I don't know why you're worried, Marlon. I think you're a bit old. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm just trying to take the piss out of him. <laughs> I'm still trying to get in touch with his agent. See if we can get him on. <laughs> If he has an agent. He was in Southampton the other week. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he got let out of prison and was in a I, um a B and B or a hostel or something in oh, Southampton really? way. Yeah. He he must have some money left, surely. I don't know. How expensive are kids? But I'll ask my pretty pest- cheap in Cambodia, isn't they? <laughs> I'll ask my pest control man because he went to Thailand <laughs> and I said, Why are you going over to Thailand? He goes, are they class as pest out there. Goes, eh? oh, you know. I was like, Oh my <laughs> fucking sake. god. I don't know if it's children uh-huh, or uh-huh, lady uh-huh, boys, uh-huh, but uh-huh. whatever, he's gonna have a lovely old time Nons. over there. <laughs> Nonce. Oh god. Anyway, Keith, how's your week been, mate? All right? Yeah. Been good, mate. Hmm? Busy. Hmm? Yeah. Much on? Oh, f- it's, yeah, loads on, mate. It's absolutely flat out at the minute. Fucking flat out, so... Just another day in the life of a fucking stick puller. <laughs> well, I, we like I, I want to be fucking pulling sticks, gas mate, mains this week. No, no installing, mains. installing. He's over to fucking laser level. Beep, 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 beep. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... Uh, I mean, the job that we're on at the minute is getting quite busy now. I got a lot of contractors down there. Everything seems to be happening all at once. So everyone's work under each other's feet, and it's a fucking nightmare. Madness sight. Absolutely that's madness, the worst part yeah. of the job when everyone's turning up to do everything at once yeah and there's only one person to blame for that you the people ma- <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trust me mate if it was me running the job it wouldn't be fucking happening but no it's yeah the people running the job at the minute they just they, they want everything done yesterday don't they you know yeah, they all they do, do. Yeah, yeah but it just doesn't fucking work like that but no other than that it's been a yeah it's been a pretty good week Quiet. productive week productive we're getting somewhere now. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm going to say no. We'll fucking... Well, I say, I say ground's starting to dry up. It is... Yeah, kind of... Uh, but just as Do you want to tell that to my car park at work? Just as it starts to, and then it starts raining again. But that's yeah. like that's spring down to a I mean, to be fair, it. most of our stuff's like indoors now, because the structure of the building's put up. So all the roofs are up, the walls are up. So all of our work is, is inside, which is great. 
But the only problem we got now is, well, we put all the fucking drainage in, it's not connected up because they prioritised other shit. So <laughs> you've got like a fucking, <laughs> we've got like a fucking five acre building that's gathering fucking water and it's only going to send it in one direction, isn't it? Oh, that's oh. down to the fucking main gate. So <laughs> yeah, you got to get that fucking going on. But no, I did a bit in the garden at the weekend as well. So oh, that's, yeah? that's coming on now. now what, the, what, what are we doing in the garden? Patio now, mate. Oh, yeah. oh, do you need some, me around or? Some, no, no, he wants it done no. before Christmas, <laughs> <Yeah>. mate. <laughs> They call him Five Slab Marlon for a reason. <laughs> yeah. No, we've... Um, Can't so brush a fucking good job. Where we put the shed up the back. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. put that retaining wall in. Yeah. Shagnuts behind has finally got his scaffolding down. No! Two and a half years later. <laughs> I mean, I know how to drag a job out, but that's oh, taking a piss. Yeah, he'll get around for some tips, mate, honestly. He's <laughs> fucking good at it. Um, yeah, so retaining wall's up now and got a bit of backfill on the go and getting ready to pour some concrete. So, Reg, when you ready, son? Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. I'll swing around keys for a couple of hours, for a couple of fucking, well, hour, You've hour and a half. weekend off. <laughs> Fuck me, seven, oh, seven hour, I went there fucking pushing concrete around. I was like, shag it. I'm going to put the expenses in. I'm fucking 20 pound an hour. Like, is it going to be a costly job, Keith? <laughs> you have well, got the body of a Polish labourer, haven't you? I do, yeah. Everyone, someone, someone said that to me the other day. It was like, oh, well, you don't look like a farmer. You're too skinny. I was like... Shag, I, I can catch a fucking 200 kilo Angus with these three fingers. Don't you worry about how I look, boo. You worry about how I do. <laughs> what didn't help was when I ordered the concrete, I think I booked in like, was it two cube of concrete? Oh, it was only a small little fuck, fucking pack. I could killed you. I can't tip up and drop four on the drive. Well, he said, well, I, got, I got one and a half left. Oh, he's only going to go back and get Chutney. Do you want it? Oh, yeah, fuck it. I'll have it. I was like, no, <laughs> no, we don't need it. Just take it back. I'll just fucking chuck it up here. What are you doing? Well, I don't know. It'll be there if I need it. I'll break it. If I don't need it, I'll break it up. I was like, well, I'm not coming around with a fucking pickaxe well, as well. Keep it <laughs> jokes on me, mate, now because you're you breaking know, it all up. Yeah, I am, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking go. Because <clears throat> what we did was where we'd obviously pulled the slab at the back end of the garden, it was like a bit of a verge, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And we just took it in the wheelbarrows and just dumped it up on the bank. But then when I've set the laser up the other day to get me levels in, you're like, oh, that's going to have to come out. Shag, I'm, I'm fucking 75 mil too high, yeah? <laughs> fucking Christ. Crack that cunt off. Oh. Then I found a cut of tree stump, so I was swinging the fucking axe round, taking three of them bastards out. Back's fucked. Sounds like a lot of fucking work, mate. Yeah, it's got to gotta be done, though, isn't it? You're not she ain't going to do man. it. Yeah, it's got to be done, isn't it? Yeah. It's got to be done, mate. Well, it's going to look good when it's done, though. Hopefully, yeah. Well, there's a lot of pressure on now, isn't it? I've got fucking four reprobate kids running around the fucking house. They need someone to play in the summer, don't they? So, the tribe. garden's got to be fucking done, isn't it? At the minute, they're running around wells, nicking people's cars and fucking cycling <laughs> diesel out of fucking... <laughs> He's like, what is it? Um, oh, fuck me. What, who was that bloke from Oliver Twist? Um, oh, God, that's going to fuck me off. Gary Glitter. No, um, I want to keep wanting to say Juice Bigelow, but I know that's not right because he's the European gigolo, gigolo yeah. and it's nothing to do with children. Fagin, 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 that was it, Fagin. He was the one who had like, he ran this little group of pickpockets. That's like it, yeah. But yeah. Uh, uh, no, Well, if you, Ronnie, uh, was he, oh he fuck me, like, he's only, just, he's only just walking really, but he tries breaking into people's fucking cars. <laughs> I can't walk more than 50 metres, he's there on the handle trying the doors. <laughs> Old habits die hard. <laughs> <laughs> that will be alright. <laughs> it's the blood in a minute. I see him there. So, red wire go. <laughs> <laughs> Screwdriver in ignition. Walking past Wells Cathedral, like, Dad, look, there's a lot of lead on that roof, isn't there? <laughs> we come back tonight. Look at this dead escort. I know how to start him. <laughs> no, Ronnie, not now. Come back later. Well, he's still mine off the drive. <laughs> Just looks back at his old man. The secret ingredient is crime. <laughs> What's that? Marlon's got an escort. Get this tennis ball. Cut it in half. We're in. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Shag. <laughs> <coughs> if, you, if you can start it, you can have it. <laughs> Same as all the rain. I'll leave the battery charger outside and all. Leave it there, son. It's too much hassle. Don't go near it. <laughs> Please take it. Oh, take the battery and a petrol. Just leave the rest of the fucking thing behind. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I think petrol in it's worth more than a car, isn't it? Are you still four star or have you actually got unleaded in it now? Four star, am I? <laughs> <laughs> it's 1990, mate. It's unleaded. Four star. Fuck it. Mike Capri's still technically on four star. And that's 1986. I don't know no, when the changeover was because I don't remember. No. Where's mine? Uh, it's not, though. It's cage at. Has it got a carburetor on it? No. Therefore, it's fuel injection. It's cage at. Is it like non-direct injection or something? It's oh, wank injection. Mate. I don't know. At the moment, it's a four and three quarter cylinder, so... <laughs> it's like mine three's the battery and a half, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Ford way. They give you more than you need. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, same as a Rover V8. Oh, yes. is it eight? <laughs> now it's seven. <laughs> <laughs> now it's six. Oh, here, and it made in a head gasket. I'm, I'm past I'd, that life, boo. I'm, I'm not worried. I'd love to laugh, but my four-liter discovery was exactly the same. 
Uh, yeah, well, we, we all know the pain of the Rover V8. We won't bring up that fucking boat anchor anymore. <laughs> They make a great coffee table. Yeah, they do. Yeah, Martin could attest to that. Yeah. He built one and sold it. Did yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Made yeah. me one. Actually built a functioning one, so you had like a hand crank on it and the pistons went up and but down. Worked better than when it was in the car, though. Literally, yeah. It's uh, more reliable, mate. More reliable. I was, uh, it as long never as dropped a cup of coffee once. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dropped the liner. <laughs> <laughs> dropped the coaster on the floor. <laughs> what about you, H? How's your week been, mate? All right? Yeah, no, not been too bad. Um... I've been down at uh, Fawley. Where's that? Uh, bottom side of Southampton-ish. It's the yeah. SO fuel refinery. Oh. Um, very you big. ask them why the fuck uh, Brent crude trading at like $83 a barrel and yet we're still getting raped for one fifty at the pumps? Well, as I keep driving around, I keep seeing all these big pipes that have got crude and petrol and diesel written on them, but every time I get out with a drill, I get shouted at. <laughs> <laughs> He's there with a fucking tap Just and run a line up. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's fucking mental down there. Like I um all I'm doing is hauling wood chip from a wood chipper. We're chipping like old trees and stuff around the outskirts of the perimeter and then hauling it down to a pad right in the middle. To drive through the site, I have to either go through a two day induction, which includes drugs and alcohol test, driving test, all the fuck it yeah. And uh if I don't, I can only be there for five days a year before you have to do the induction anyway. And I have to have a chaperone everywhere I go on site. Like drop like driving the tractor from the top to the bottom. What, as in sat in the passenger seat? No, or? he sits in a pickup in front of me and I have to follow him around everywhere. Oh my if God. Big flashy beacons on. Yeah, if I want to go for a piss, he's got to come with me. If I want to go make a cup of Does coffee, he he's got to come with me. We can't find the fucking thing most uh-huh. of the time. <laughs> he's shaking it with a pair of tweezers. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Get a magnifying glass, make sure he's got the right one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's um, fairly straight. Like to get out of the tractor and do anything, um, steel toe cap boots, allegedly. Um, yeah. Long sleeves only, high vis, hard hat, gloves, goggles, just to get out the tractor. Health and safety all to Is fuck. that like yeah. get out backwards, three points of contact? Yeah, I've already been shouted at twice for getting out forward. Just jumping. Yeah, <laughs> out the back window. <laughs> well, the bottom step's covered in mud, so I just jumped from the second step, and that's very frowned upon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ridiculous, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And the... Jesus Christ, some dairy spec cunt come in there. He ain't got a bottom step, so he's already ripped the cunt off. <laughs> well, technically, it is a bottom step, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a fair point, actually. <laughs> but no, it's... Um, I, I, I don't even know where to start with it down there. It's just health and safety crazy. It just sounds like Hinkley Point all over that does. Just, the speed like limit is 25 mile an hour. I was doing 30k. I've got three phone call complaints for speeding. Isn't that... That's less than... 18 miles an hour, yeah, what? correct. Oh, None it, of them have seen a fucking tractor before. They're oh, looking at it like, oh my god, shiny big thing. Because it, look, it looks... <laughs> what the fuck is, is this? It, it looks, looks like it's going dinner. fast and yeah. making a lot of noise. And obviously Shagnut's behind the steering wheel, leaning back, giving it the full gangster lean with Sonny's <laughs> on, listening to like Bad Boy Chiller Crew most of the day. <laughs> Today was a good day. How you getting on there, driver? <laughs> Can you slow down, please? You're upsetting the plants. Oh. And it does beg the question... I had to take a new tractor in there or a newish tractor in there because I'm not allowed to run a pre ad blue tractor in there. Oh my. I saw five of the burners lit up today. The <laughs> fucking irony burning off waste natural gas that comes out of the refining process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five of them. The flames are like 40 foot tall and at the top no, of a tower. No, that's ab- okay. No ad blue in that cunt. No. No. My well, I'm not allowed to run an old 820 because I'll fucking kill the polar bears. <laughs> That is to be fair, you're working, working at a petrol refinery and they're like, oh, you have to have that blue. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? You killed all the fucking dinosaurs, <laughs> cunts. <laughs> no, it's like working at a tobacco plant and being told you've got to wear a respirator and only eat healthy. It's <laughs> <laughs> so fucking backwards. That is fucking madness. Like they, are, they are literally, while well, like at BP, are the ones that literally caused... Um, it was the, the Gulf oil spill. Yeah, yeah. that was hideous. And, uh, was it the Valdez as well? Was that BP? Because the that... front fell off. <laughs> literally, well, yeah, fucking near enough. The Valdez was like, uh, remember the Valdez? Massive, massive oil tanker that just went over and just this enormous oil spill. It might have been Exxon or it might have been, uh, might have been BP. Ah, Either fuck, way. let's blame but BP. But they're like, oh yeah, no, 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 please yeah. think about the environment. Yeah, like, we towed it outside the environment. <laughs> <laughs> to where? Well, outside the environment. environment. <laughs> There's nothing out there, nothing but sea and birds and fish <laughs> and 20,000 tons of crude oil. <laughs> Fucking love that skip, man. But luckily, the blokes that are down there are, um, that I've been working with have been pretty good. They're just sort of in the same boat as me. Like, it's crap, but you've got to put up with it. Yeah. The sooner you, sooner you sort of put up with it and get on with it as best you can, the quicker we'll be out of there. So, yeah, other than that, not a bad week. Pretty you know Pit Viper do um, uh, rated sunglasses, like yeah. uh, Z- Z- Z82s or whatever. According to my chaperone and his supervisor, my Ray-Bans are su- <laughs> they're safety rated as well. 
<laughs> and my RM Williams have got steel toe caps in them. Oh, not. do they? Yeah, yeah okay. Right. <laughs> fucking dicks. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Fucking allegedly, I don't allegedly yeah, in Mexico. I, I, I'm well. yeah. very glad that I don't work on a large place like that where I put up that fucking bullshit. I yeah. saw the best job title for you the other day. What was that? It was another, um, is it Clark and Clark and Door? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a logistics solution support consultant. <laughs> ah, you drive a forklift. <laughs> yeah, <I've seen> that. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that you're walking around every day at work with that on the back of your t shirt. And I you know what. <laughs> I just I introduce myself uh, self now as an influencer just to fuck people off. <laughs> what do you do for it? I'm an influencer. How do you influence people? I make them make bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> do it, cunt. Shotgun the beer. <laughs> oh, God. What about you, Marilanis? Let me guess. Another week. Land Rover's shit. Land Rover's a poor mate. I cannot believe the shit we're getting at the minute. Obviously, they're not all the same. They are. Um that evokes and the fucking disco sports please stop buying them oh, I've heard that my old man went down there to pick some stuff up and he said they, they're piling up down there <laughs> you can't get bits for them <laughs> literally like brand new vehicles just, bring just them out of warranty the cunt's done like 40k it wants a fuel pump right you can't get a fuel pump that sounds like something you should ask China <laughs> China China Rotary gear knobs have been on back order what for the? Disco Sports. How, how fast are they shifting from reverse <laughs> to first? <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Six months they've been on back order. A shag just fucking what the screwdriver. Fuck? You, you what cannot you take do? it out and put a lever in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, the can bus doesn't talk to screwdrivers. <laughs> or like the, the, what, the mechanism in it's, the rotary knob. Yeah. <laughs> Bucks itself. Well, like, it's relatively common on everything Land Rover but it's more so common in like the Evokes and Disco Sports you can't get them no, cheap what? cheap Range Rover innit cheap yeah. parts like I, what are you supposed to do like they're dead without that you yeah, can't you, you fucked can't, didn't yeah. you like, it's, not, it's not even mate. like the old school ones with a stick where you could just fucking like flick a screwdriver yeah, in there and it, flick something know, up and drag it. it back yeah um chains fucking chains on like 30,000 mile petrol and geniums what timing chains yeah oh 30, yeah 30,000 miles mm. yeah just out of warranty. And that what, job What are is they made out of? Cheese? <coughs> from it? I'm 99% certain my Beamer's got... Well, it's on 191,000. I can't find any evidence that it's ever had a timing chain. What is it? M47? 57. Yeah, see... Yeah, you find it as a nut. It's like a sewing machine. A, a lot of these, fuel, isn't it, Keith? A lot, yeah, a lot of these newer vehicles now, they're, 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 they're built to do that, though, aren't they? Yeah. Because we had it with like, the military kit as well. You know, you get like these new fucking tanks, for example, coming in. They'll put like a Caterpillar diesel fucking power pack in it. Absolutely bomb-proof. But then everything around it yeah. was yeah. just... It was built to fail. Yeah. Because then obviously the people then build these machines if are then contracted well, to fix it, and then they're the ones that make the money from it. Yeah. So... Well, obviously, they're the ones using the red, but we well, always got to suffer for it, yeah. This fucking idiot over here doing fucking chains on wanky fucking pieces of shit. What do they call it? Like, integrated... Um, integrated product failure? Something like, yeah, basically I know what that. you mean, yeah. 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 It's the same on the Fent, like the Fent tractors. You get the older, sort of late 80s, early 90s, and even the early Vario ones. It do, like, 15, 20, 25,000 hours. Not a problem. They'd still be good as gold. Even the ones before Vario are even better. Nowadays, you rarely find a fence past 8,000 hours that hasn't had a Vario in it. Really? Yeah. I remember, I might, I might be misquoting here, my mate Denny would tell me back years ago, this was probably a fucking Christ, 12 years ago, we used to work on the dairy together, and um, he would say, we had a load of six nines up there, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, for ages. And he was like, you can guarantee, you said 6,000 hours, you just put a cut head in gasket. for a head gasket. Yeah. Literally, you just hit 6,000 out. If you were like at 5, 6, you ring him up and say, I'm going to need a head gasket in a month. <laughs> Mad. This is then with the, if you had them with the auto power transmissions, they'd, um, you'd do the head gasket about 6,000 and then a Vario unit in that about 8,000. Really? Yeah. It's sad, isn't it? You know? Stop buying new shit. Yeah, I buy think, old is, shit. But is it is it a case of like, yeah, all right, they're like building in, you know, um, uh, redundancy no. or are they actually is it just they're the just... issue is now it's built by bankers not engineers yeah that's it so Cut, everything needs to be done as say, cheaply as possible but yeah that but is it a fact that like we're getting so cutting edge of what we're doing now is it just like a matter of like you know when you have like a Dacia you know like a Dacia Dacia they, it, 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 it's a Renault I don't know anyone that, and it's yeah, but, good but, news but, good news <laughs> 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 um, yeah so like those things are what run like 20-30 year old technology it's, it's fucking it's proven 
So like it just they know it runs. Whereas like you know Land Rover and the new like Land Cruisers and shit is cutting edge stuff. So is but it? Yeah, like but a no, a timing chain is a timing chain. We've been making timing chains for f- over fifty That's a years. Very good point. We're yeah. just making out of shit Chinese steel now, mm. and it doesn't last ten minutes. Yeah, if we paid not point three pence more per kilo, we could get it from here, which is a reputable source. Or we, we can't get just... it from here because we ain't got any steel anymore. No, no, not here. But you know, we get it from this source, or we could go less and go China. Yeah. Mm. But it's never like 0.2 pence per kilo, is it? It's if we buy this shipment of 20,000 tons of it, it will save us 5, 10, 15 grand. Exactly. And that's a big number. So they go for that. Yeah. And because that number's, it's not passed down to the consumer initially. And then they don't care about the repair costs on it. It's like, oh, well, it'll fail in 40,000 miles. That sounds like a you problem. That's literally, it's more, more a sound. case of that sounds, it's not even a you problem. It's me that buys it after you because yeah. you're not, you're only going to have it for three years and fuck it off to someone else, which is like, my sort of thinking now, when a new vehicle turns up, I'm thinking, probably keep it for years and just fucking... Yeah, just, to keep you know, it in warranty, pay especially... Another, pay another fucking 2018 grand, get a new one, like, or what, with the price of second-hand cars at the moment, like, you probably yeah. made more on it, but fucking sold it. Yeah, like, <laughs> fucking mad. I don't know. So, I like this segment, and no one does it anymore. What's your worst job of the week? Mm. I keep forgetting to Ooh, ask him. Oh, right. You can uh, ask me that again in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I haven't had anything too hideous in, to be fair. Uh, Renault Traffic or Vivaro. They're just pain in general. I don't know why anyone has them. They just, like, they're because just they're cheap hard, shit. They're just hard work. Everyone I know is like, oh, I've got a fucking gear selector problem or some bollocks. I don't fucking know. Got two injectors stuck in it. That's it. I knew it was something I was trying to remember there. I have jacked the front up on the injectors using an engine crane. Can't get them out. Can't get them out. <laughs> You driven it down the road flat out with the with the uh, tie down off. Uh, don't run, mate. Ah, what if we put it in gear and tow it down the road? That's true. <sighs> yeah, then we have two. Fuck. Mm. To be fair, I know. To some... be fair, I don't know if that's going to fucking help. No, I know somebody that drove. You know, Wales by Blast in um, going from Wales to Shepton. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know a mate, uh, friends of. I think it's Mule, Mule's mate, Mule's mate. Um, that's it, Nick and uh, Sean, and they were. They're, they fucking took the tie down off and drove this thing flat the fuck out on the red line down a bypass, brought it back, and still didn't come out. <laughs> That's it. Because you're only going to like develop 300 psi because you don't want no fuel running in it. No. Because you'll bend all the fucking arms and rip the rail off. You're only going to be developing like three, four hundred psi. Only. You imagine that on the end of your finger. Mate, I've had. What's the engine crane do? Two if, ton. And it, you've lifted the front off the ground. That's fuck. Yeah, you know, it's just like ugh, no. Give up. What What do you do in that situation then? As a you soak it novice? and soak it and soak it, and there is kit you can buy, and there are people you can hire in. There are people have... you can ring that do that shit. It's so yeah. cool, so cool. That's they're a not, next week problem. They're not that <laughs> expensive. Week. Those people are they? We keep I, I, every time we're on about something, I got this stuck in there. Why don't you ring the men? Like the men that the come. Men. To, there <laughs> yeah, are the men. To there fix are it. men they that have will special come. Jigs and it's stuff. so cool. They're like set up this whole framey jig thing around the fucking top. And of the they're engine. like Leviosa, and it will come and it out. It comes out. If it I suppose is there no charge if they can't get it out? No, because they still have a call-out charge. Oh, is there? Uh, You're the type of cunt that goes and gets his car plugged in at a garage and go, wow, you haven't done anything to it, so I won't pay you for it. <laughs> yeah, never mind the 10 grand worth of kit we got yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, that bought itself, didn't it? Go on, Reg. What was your worst job of the week? Uh, my worst job of the week that I told Marlon earlier. Uh, my old man... I said before, got Range Rover Sport, told him not to get into 10-year-old Range Rovers, didn't listen. Uh, Marlon came round, gave him a list of jobs to do. Old man turned around, gave me a list of jobs to do. <laughs> so, yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't I like, like the... Um, what's it? Delegation. <laughs> yeah, it's, Delegation. yeah, it's a trickle-down labour. The what abuse it is. always kicked downwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because, like... I'm, it's not because I'm handy with mechanics. I'm not. I'm a fucking idiot. But I'm more handy than my old man is. So, it just immediately... It's like, that's well, your problem. So... He, all it was was two uh, front lower. He was smiling as he was walking out of the workshop yesterday. I was like, ah, Reg has got some stuff to do now then. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to get him on it later on. Two front lower arms on a Range Rover Sport and a rear upper arm, whatever you call it. I don't That's a body know. off job then. No, amazingly <laughs> not. No, I, Everything's it, a body off job on these fucking cars. Everything. It would have made life very easy. I can do the turbos in fucking Citri, mate, now. Which one, a medal or a chest to pin it on? Um, fucking... Where were you when I needed <laughs> mine doing? Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause, actually. You don't get one. Six jointed wrist. <laughs> yeah, no, That's it was. The inbreeding. Um, it was... She loves it. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was. Uh, it's been. 
Like, two front arms weren't too bad. It wasn't overly fucking fun, if I'm honest. But, like, you just, you just slowly do the first one. Then you're like, oh, all right, easy, next one. Um, and then he comes in at, like, I don't know, two o'clock. The two front ones would take me, like, I don't know, three, four hours. I'm sure there's people out there going, two front arms, three for four hours. I'm a fucking idiot, all right? I've never done this shit. I haven't got half of the tools that I need to get this job done. So I'm just a 10 year old Range Rover. I just, yeah, no, what is it? No, it was 14 years old. Yeah, and so was, that well, shit was not greased when it got put together. Oh, fuck me, no. Because it, they cannot possibly they spend no. two pence on grease. No, they will put no fucking a bit of copper slip on that. I'd be mad. Was she 09 plate? Was she pre-facelift? No, like, mm. just just on the facelift. So to like 59, I think. Anyway, yeah. so... Mm. I'm having the most fun with this. Uh, I've got, like, fuck all tools. Like, I literally have, like, the bare minimum to get jobs done. Like, you know, I'm looking at, um, I'm watching a fucking YouTube tutorial like a fucking idiot. So I get to one point, I'm like, oh yeah, good thing. I need to tip X those marks on the camp on those. He's books. sending me pictures. How do I get this off? And I was like, sir, I circled it and I was like, hit it with a hammer. I, to be fair, I had been doing that because I had a fucking, I had a, I had a transmission jack without the, um, without the cradle on it, just the fucking post up on the, on the bolt of the ball joint. And I was just going and going and going until I saw the front end just slowly <laughs> lift off the fucking off the ramp and I was like alright that's about enough and I was like it still wouldn't move so I texted him I was like how do I get this off he's like hit it I was like oh but I've been doing that for ages <laughs> <laughs> turns out he was right just required a lot more hitting with a bigger hammer um, yeah their front arms weren't too bad it's a bit of a cunt of a job but it, it was what it was but I didn't sort of forgot that obviously when you put it up on a four poster the wheels are free so when you like... Did you put the suspension in off-road mode before you jacked it up? No, it's fucking nah, madro, it'll be just fine. Just open the fucking door, mate. That's all you got to do. <laughs> just, stop, just stop the cunt fucking doing anything. Open the door, all this health and safety fucking rigmarole kicks in. That shit won't move. Carpet's on the same You, do, you don't even need to do nothing. You, you can just lift the cunt up. <clears throat> oh, They're can you? fine. They're so happy with it. Oh, really? As a P oh, well, but I'm P38, so I know... You definitely fucking... sound sarcastic when you said that. I'm not. Promise. I think you can, because I accidentally shut the door and nothing happened, whereas no. on the P38s, so you shut the door and goes... <laughs> And you're like, oh, fucking Jesus. Uh, you, if you lift a P38 up on a two-poster, usually it blows the rear two bags out. Yeah, no, yeah, seriously, I did that. I lifted mine up for the first time on a four-poster. <laughs> all four bags just started leaking because they fold over <laughs> themselves and they yeah. seal and like, all the bits where it fold over just cracked. <laughs> I was like, my lord, my lord. It's like, yeah, I'll get you four bags all distracted. Don't worry. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Anyway, so that was done. What I forgot was these fucking stupid little bolts. It's going to be quite hard to describe, but the the bolts obviously change the sort of camber and of the wheels. They're all cam, so as you rotate them, it pushes the arm, the wheel in and out at the bottom and at the top. Blah blah blah. Anyway, not interested. So you're saying your old man's got a stance range over now? Well, it was nearly, nearly <laughs> because what you she got what, three degrees of negative. Shag, she's <laughs> on. What you're meant to do is like measure when he's like on the floor, measure from the center of the wheel to the arch, and then when you jack it up. You put a transmission jack underneath the wheel, jack it up, and get it to the same distance. Of course, I forgot to take a measurement, so I rang him up. I was like, "Do you know what?" what? What you're actually meant to do no. is you fit the arms and you do them up in roughly the same place. Yeah, that's what I did. Then you put them on the four poster, you loosen all the bolts off with geo kit on and you track it properly. What geo kit was for Reg was for some Tipex and some WD-40. After I tightened them up asshole tight, put some WD-40 on them just to make sure when he went back down again and the wheels came down and the arms moved, they didn't tear the fucking bushes all the fuck. Just did it really slowly. I was like, oh, oh. Oh, looked you, underneath. I was like, no, no tears. We're good. We're good. You're under the assumption that he's got a four poster ramp and not just his uh, tele, not my problem. tele handler with some not pallet fork extensions underneath. <laughs> no, no, I've got a four poster. I'm living my best life. Two poster. You've got a two post. Yeah, I've got a two post. Four point ton, two ton lift. Brand new, Jack. She's brand new. Yeah, it's Chinese special. It's exactly the same as yours, you prick. Except yeah, my Chinese specials. Yeah, except my cables are tight and yours aren't. So let's just have a look at that, shall we? Because Marlon's gets used. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather have Regis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least my safety handle's the right way up, you brick. I heard about it's that. It's fucking not. What, mine? My safety handle's the right way up. It's not. Yes, it is. Because when you walk past it, you can't accidentally depressurize it, you fucking dickhead. It's the wrong way up. <laughs> it's the fucking anyway, wrong way up. Well, you could argue about this all fucking day. It gets to about two o'clock. The old man comes in. How are you getting on then, all right? I was like, oh, not too bad. It's a bit of a fucking kind of a job, but we're getting there. All oh, right. Well, you have this done today? I said, oh, I don't know. Do you need this tonight? Yeah, I do. I said, well, you're not fucking having it. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he said that, you just knew that it oh, wasn't just, being done tonight. I assumed the fucking rear, the rear arm was going to be like a piece of piss. It was smaller. It was less bolts, less fucking around. Oh, no, everything's in the way. You got fucking 
air lines, you got brake lines, you got ABS sensors, and then I realize this one bolt that I'm going to get out is just going to foul, just and just foul the encasing for the fucking air, uh, air suspension compressor by about four mil. And I'm like, oh, do I have to take all that out or I'm just going to get the fucking whole saw out? <laughs> So it's we'll, plastic event. <laughs> tune in next week to find out what I fucking did, boys. <laughs> yeah, hovered that, not too bad. Wife had a hair dye today. When she asked me how your hair looked, I was like, yeah, it looks all right. Not the word to say, apparently. Not the... Yeah. Whenever, you hate, you whenever hate they it. say that, just say, yeah, you look stunning, you beautiful, hate it. beautiful. You hate it. You hate it, don't you? I said, well, look, put it this <laughs> to be way. Fair, didn't even notice, Shag. Oh, that's what I said. I said, to be fair, I'll, if you hadn't said anything, I went, didn't notice. Again, not the right thing to say. No, it's not. So both literally and metaphorically, you are in the doghouse. Mm. Yeah, so we... we I mean, we move. We move. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. It is what it is. Yeah, it's been all right. Um, by the time you listen to this, I'm probably back from America. I'm leaving in five days. So, yeah, should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Whereabouts are you off to? Uh, or is that a secret? No, no, I'm going, to, going back to see my um, mates in uh, just an hour north of Miami. So going there, there for a couple of days, then driving up to Nashville, 12 and a half hour drive. Going to do that in one hit, like a fucking idiot. Uh, she said she's going to do some driving. I was like, yeah, okay. Like, okay, like, I'll be happy for you to do some, like, even if I do like eight and you do four, but I just know it's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen. Why don't you just do all 10? Oh, <laughs> 12 and a half. Make it 10. Uh, have you driven in America? They're fucking idiots. Like, there's no fast lane or slow lane. It's like, if you want to do, like, you can do, like, 100, but you have to spend your whole time dipping and diving and dodging and ducking and... Are they, they, um, are they quite not... hot for speeding out there as well? Not really. So, I <clears throat> never saw a speed camera. There's no speed cameras. I... I mean, like, it's all radar gun. We used to have it, like, if you, if you go down, like, a highway and there's, like, I don't know, say a police officer on the side of the road. Yeah, that's or what it always is. In the, in slow the, down, if, move over. Yeah, you've got to slow down and move over, in you? Because you don't, you can get fucking... Oh, you get chased, sure, yeah. Like, you get tuned for that, don't yeah. you? Um, but I got followed once because I, I think I've already told it. I came over the crest of a hill doing... Wrong side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Mag These goddamn Americans no. drive on the wrong side of the road! I, I was on a freeway. Um, so I came over the crest or in the fast lane, which is just a lane, um, doing a... I was coming in hot um, and I saw the trooper and he was pulled off like in the grass. They pull off on the grass, which on is the, weird. In the median, yeah. they yeah. pull that. Yeah. Um, I saw him and I clop, like clicked it down a little bit and it went, wham, wham. <laughs> I was like, oh. Marlon's coming in all Duke's hazard style there, like <laughs> fucking tires off the floor. Shit. So I banged it back into the slow lane on fucking cruise doing 70, 75. Um, and he pulled out and followed me for four, five miles. Just saw, waiting for he, me to slip up again. He just saw you there in a white challenger and thought, fucking dick. <laughs> and uh, we were like in Amarillo and the car was from Dallas. So like we're seven, eight hours from... He's wondering what the fuck you're doing there. Yeah. Isn't he? And I expect he got behind us, ran the tags and he's like... Oh, fair, you, look, you look like a fucking drugs mule as well. To be fair, most of those... Ta- oh, what am I like- bringing down from Amarillo? <laughs> There's nothing but fucking dirt up there. Tony Christie. Where, where- <laughs> <laughs> where did you come from Mexico <laughs> <laughs> no no most of the, more lemon bled. most of, what I found out afterwards was like, I was like why am I being treated like a fucking mong on these roads driving around people are like oh hideous but like carving you up cutting you up and anyone who's in the know they're like uh, most of the higher cars have like a certain tag like oh, I say tag like a um, license plate it does like they start with some letters or they end in some letters or something that defines them against everything else. So like that's why you get treated like a yeah, fucking right. wrong. Like when I when I'd like got to a stoplight and I'd be a bit hesitant or go to like a uh, right turn on red and I'd be like, uh, uh, I'm like waiting to get beeped at a matey in the back just rolling, a matey behind me just rolling a fatty, just like, well, I'm gonna be here for a minute. Fucking British <laughs> cunt has no idea, just thinks a red light is stop for a queen. Like, no, so yeah, that's something to bear in mind. Then How many miles did you do when you were over there? Um, I think I did about 1,500, I think. Some it is. That's it. So by the end of it, you are proper fluent. Yeah, the thing is, I think that. But now I'm going back this year. I'm starting like tr- trying to remember, like, fuck, what do you do on this bit? And what do you do like when you come up to this part and whatever? Well, it was all one roundabout in the whole of the US. And I was just like, oh, watch me whip. Watch me nay-nay. <laughs> <laughs> I got this, boo. 
Yeah. Can you um, you can turn right on a red light out there. Can't yeah, you as well? yeah, right turn on red. Yeah, yeah. so like, unless it says no right turn, turn on red, red, if it's ro- if it's red and you're in the right turn lane, as long as your lane uh, your lane clear. But you have to. By, rem- the, by the time I got to the end, I didn't even care if it was clear. I'm going. Yeah, I I made one fuck up like because I was looking there and I, I'm looking at the near side lane nearest the curb and I'm thinking, well, that's clear, so I'm going to go. But that lane is the right turn lane and then the lane over is the one coming mo- straight across the ones that are coming at me and I pull out in front of an Escalade and a black lady was very angry at me <laughs> very angry he said what the hell I said what the who did you talk about <laughs> goddamn Taurus coming over here did he ask me a weapon <laughs> fuck you Oprah <laughs> You get a car, you get an accident, <laughs> everyone gets an insurance claim. <laughs> Confusion in Ollie Giles intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a bit wild ride. I don't know. And then we're coming back down for Alabama, which she is not <laughs> keen for. Not keen. Ding, 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 ding. So, like, on the, back, on the way down from Nashville, you'd like to take an hour, de- it's like an hour detour to go down through, like, Montgomery and Mobile and... <laughs> Yeah, I can't fucking wait. You um, taking your gas mask with you as well? <laughs> My gas mask? Why? All the fucking chemicals that are exploding out there at the minute. You've not seen that? What, in Alabama? No, that's Ohio. Is... That's Ohio, yeah. In uh, Palestine. Yeah. Israel and fucking... Oh, oh, <laughs> Israel and Ohio. Just like, yeah. <laughs> Things blowing up in Palestine. Let's go. <laughs> Marlon's just stop. Just remember it. Just it, stop. It is the British code to write something offensive down the side of your car when you drive through Alabama. No, I, I, do you know what? I, I, I love gonna, boys. Yeah, that was, I, I, I've literally bought a full camo outfit <laughs> just to go for Alabama. Full Nike dry fit. Like, let's fucking go. Jesus saves nothing. <laughs> Make it legalize abortion. I fuck my cousin. <laughs> That's normal, man. That's going to be sick. I'm looking forward to it. She's is, is the least... Uh, the 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 bit she's looking forward to about our trip least is Alabama, but I'm good. I think I'll be the same. Ah, it'd, be, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Just fuck it, just go. Like we're literally going past it. Imagine being like, oh yeah, well like, I went past Alabama, but I didn't go there. It'd be fucking sick. I can't wait. Get yeah. like the Vietnamese flag on the side of your car or something. Oh. Just... <laughs> You'd be shot. <laughs> and then just write one nil underneath it. Yeah, <laughs> just up the Kong <laughs> <laughs> and go really fast. B fifty two who? <laughs> Just get one of those little uh, little straw, the sort of triangle, <laughs> yeah, yeah. triangle straw hats. <laughs> You'll never win a land land war. Next week, um, it's me on my own because Reg has not come back. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to try. I'm going to try not to get beaten up. I don't think I will. I was pretty good in Florida. I went to an Irish bar and everyone was smashed in there, and I managed to make friends. So yeah. you're in an Irish bar. What do you expect? Yeah, no, so, yeah. and then obviously Mrs. is half Irish, and they just lost their shit because they're like, we haven't a uh, real Irish person in here in years. We just say Irish bar to sell fucking Guinness. Describe a potato to me. Yeah, <laughs> I've not seen one. <laughs> I haven't seen one in years, sir. <laughs> oh, hack jokes, hack jokes. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Should we? Uh, should we get into the episode? <laughs> <laughs> don't stand to we're fucking forty three minutes. Waffling. <laughs> Bear of waffling. Uh, right, so, Marlon, this is your episode plan, so what are we doing? Um, Why? Well, it's been on the list for a while. Um, I thought we'd do some Desert Island disc shit. Yeah. With a twist. I like it. So I put it to you. You tweaked it slightly. <laughs> I put it to you. <laughs> you sucked off a horse. <laughs> you sucked um, off a horse. So I put it to you. You tweaked it slightly. So basically, I don't know if anybody's listened to, was it Ready for or some shit? Uh, yeah, I think it's Radio 4, Radio 2. So, Desert Island Disc is you get three albums and a book. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So, basically... How fucking old are you? Radio 2? I don't listen... Ah, joining on BBC uh, Radio 2's Popmaster, we've got Marlon <laughs> and Keith in. <laughs> Your bonus question, who had the 1972 hit, Walking in Memphis? <laughs> Gonna have to rush you, Marlon. I'm afraid you're out of time there. The correct answer is Matt Cohn. No, ah, of course Keith. it fucking was. <laughs> <laughs> no time for seasons in the sun. <laughs> right, anyway, so we've tweaked it. So you get one album, one movie, one food, one luxury, and one person. Keith? Oh, hang on a minute, let me get my notepad out. <laughs> Keith's actually, like, lines. everyone else has got, like, notes on their phone. Keith's got a notepad. Right, so do you, what do you want? One at a time, or do you want them all in a no, one? 
I want your album. One album that you'd take with you. None. Does where he the, get a record player as well? You, or where are you going to play a fucking album on a desert island, mate? Thick cunt. <laughs> <laughs> are you actually written nothing? No, I have put an... I've got... It's not an album, it's a playlist. But no, again, it's now 54. <laughs> <laughs> now Christmas. <laughs> I'll just, well, if I, I'll no just, I, I'd, I'd love a fucking playlist, like a Defected Records, bit of Sound Divine, that's me all over, bit of like feel good vibey music. If I'm in a shit place, it'd bring my fucking we morale would be in a shit there. place on a fucking desert island, but mate. But it'd be really shit because I wouldn't be able to fucking listen to it. You will. Oh, bit, Look, we're, we're living player. in a dream world where. It's he's... not real, we're not on a desert <laughs> island. Oh, yeah, but I said this to Reggie the other night. I said, Troy, I, I said, what the fuck we got here? We got like Love Island spec or Castaway Island spec. You went Castaway, mate. Right, so I've got a football. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> it's not real, all right? I said this to me missus and I was like, oh, I was like, struggling with this bit and she was like, I think I'd take an axe. I was like, it's, <laughs> well, it's meant to be funny, bitch. It's, it's, me like, it's metaphorical. <clears throat> well, I've, I have got two lists. I've got my, what I'd probably take with me in real life, but then I've got my joke. AR-15, yeah. Paxor. <laughs> Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Guns for show, knives for a pro. Fuck off. So, is there something we don't know about you? <laughs> <laughs> right, so do you want all these now, Marlon? No, no, just one at a time. Okay. Fucking hell, Keith. And we go around the table if that's all right. You just lost me on the fucking now album. <laughs> so, who keeps right, taking Keith, now? That's what I call Christmas with him. Gonna have to press you for an answer here. What is the <laughs> album you take with you to your desert island? None. He's not. He's taking a playlist. The gun. <laughs> fucking Spotify here, generation. How do we get Spotify work on E45? Like. <laughs> Shags up the palm tree, like <laughs> I get, I get some, L, I get some L E T E or whatever here. H, what album would you take with you? Uh, it was very difficult to choose between two. It was either ACDC's Back in Black oh, or Spice Girls, Foo Fighters, In Your Honor, and I'd probably go Foo Fighters. Ooh, just because oh, old move. The way I choose an album, like if I was to choose one, would be: could I listen to it without skipping a single song? And those ah, are the see, that's my thinking. Those yeah. are the only two I could think of yeah. that I could just put on, like, press play at the start in the morning and let them run all the way through. So I'd probably go in your honour by the Foo Fighters. And people always say, like, oh, you'd have to listen to it and repeat forever. I'm like, I don't listen to music 24-7. It's just no. like a little bit in the morning to pick you up, like, get your go-to song. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd be, that'd be me. I like it, man. That's a, that's a good show. What's your favourite track off the, off the album, then? Uh, that's a tough one. Either in your honour or DOA. Yeah, the two. I probably like, DOA. I, I like DOA. That's... The only downside is that Learn to Fly wasn't on that album. Yeah, but... I, know, I was I was doing the same, and I was like, oh, that wasn't on that one, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, fucking shit. It's all by the same artist. It fucking counts on it. Yeah. But yeah, DOA from that album. B side, like <laughs> on the B side. <laughs> Red, we're in the twenty first century now, drive. I'm still running my CDs at fucking forty five. <laughs> How's the beat of Max in the Range Rover doing? <laughs> <laughs> I had a VHS in the last one. <laughs> I'm not even joking. In my Holland, I had a fucking VHS. I was fucking... I went around a mother's last night and she's like clearing the attic out. And it's not really an attic, it's the third story with like storage. And she's like... You call me a Tory cunt. Fucking arc of the upbringing you that. Victorian as well. Um, yeah. two, um, ja two Jags on the drive. <laughs> That's it, two S types. <laughs> no. What the fuck? Brand new Nissan Micromate. Oh, one, one, two... TFSI Ooh. horrible thing um, <laughs> at least she it's not a jazz it. she loves it um, <laughs> there were like three huge boxes of tapes do you want these? what, uh, like, what, what the cassettes fuck? or VHS? VHS what the fuck am I going to do with tapes mother? what? Uh, do you want them or not? no no you keep them you put it's them on it. like it's really sad because really like any of those are like, oh my god, that it was film. grease like, there. Fuck, yeah, but I like, remember oh that. My god, but you just Lady know you tram. can tap that in and it'll be on YouTube. Yeah, like the whole film's just been out so long, it's copyright free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Marlon? What's your fucking? This album? was quite difficult because I... Roy Orbison in it. <laughs> I don't. I'm not a big fan of Roy Orbison, to be fair. Um, it was quite difficult. But again, we went to what album can you play and not skip a song? Yeah, see, that was exactly my thinking. I'm glad we're on the same hype as that. Solid logic, innit? Mm. Uh, the Eagles, Greatest Hits. I knew... Oh, oh, oh there's a great... Oh, I don't think your Greatest Hits one counts. Oh, I had this conversation with my brother last what, night. I'll tell you what, it's my fucking podcast. I'll do what I want. <laughs> 
technically it's only 50%. So we'll put it down to a casting vote. <laughs> casting vote. Well, I'd flip a coin. We're broke. <laughs> I can put that album on every single day, listen to it, start to finish, and not skip a fucking song. I'm not. I like a few of the Eagles, but I find it a little bit. I don't know. You're gonna you're gonna hate me. I just find it a little bit samey. It's all like I don't know a bit. Is it kind of half soul, half country, half too slow? Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, yeah, mate. Man, it's just, yeah, if yours know. is the wrong one, that doesn't matter, does it? That's <laughs> it. I don't care about his opinion, but at least he's told me. Yeah. Uh, well, what let's... about you, mate? Oh, I had a long, hard think about this. The same thing. I thought about the Wu Tang and sort of Wu Tang, and I was like, oh, it's not like there's only really a few good songs on there. A lot of the stuff came out later that I really liked. Then I thought about the Bloodhound Gang, and I was like, I've played that to death over the last 10 years. And then I thought about the one, the only Cypress fucking Hill. Yeah. And I went with Black oh. Sunday by Cypress Hill. <laughs> that is just banger after banger. I mean, you got like A to the K. I ain't going out like that. Hits from the bong, hand on the Glock. Like, oh, just absolute. And the, the, what I love about the lead singer, I can't remember his name, saved me fucking life right now. Um, but just his voice, it's just, I don't know. I put on, I put that shit on to get me You hyped. know exactly knew who that, you like, yeah, yeah, when yeah. that comes on, you, you know can, exactly yeah, who like, it is. that's it. He's got one of those really, really recognisable voices. Like, he's even done stuff with, like, House of Pain, and you're like, listen, like, what the fuck? This is Cypress Hill in this bitch. Oh, I just love it. I just absolutely fucking love it. It's, um, I don't know. I've always loved Cypress Hill. Like, I, I think they're really underrated. I feel like it was it was kind of again I'm going to put my opinion in, in here and obviously it doesn't fucking matter I'm just not a big fan what? like what's your favourite song by Cypress um, Hill um Insane in the Membrane yeah, like, that's kind of everyone's yeah. what are the hits from the bong like hello, yeah, or Doctor, the, hello Dr. Green Thumb paging Dr. Green Thumb thing, I just don't like him so I don't listen to him oh, what? Do I feel like Turkish and Tommy right now when they're confronted with the pikeys they're just looking at each other like do you understand a single word of what the fuck you <laughs> just said I have never heard of anything that you're You've on about. You've never heard of Cypress Hill? No. Oh, well, I'm going to have to put some on for you right now. Because... Don't ruin the dead south. Oh, all right, well, put it on after. Tequila Sunrise is a good one. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's actually, that's, yeah, that's probably that's, my favourite. Tequila that's Sunrise, from... Blood I mean, you ruined Baseline Father, so you might as well ruin the Deep South as well. Right, I reckon we're uh, fit to cut the break, man, on. Roger that. All right, I'll go get a beer of the week, and we'll be back shortly. Don't forget to moisturise. Love you. Bye from the desert island. Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> Burning. And we're back. But before we get into the beer of the week, massive shout out to the sponsor of this podcast, Orly Fox. Oh. Now, Marlon, I'm going to paint you a little picture, right? I'm ready. You are... You run the business, yeah? You're doing well. Everything's going great. Boom! HMRC are on your back. They're... Oh, not those. Yeah, yeah. They are doing a tax investigation into your business. Oh, fuck. It's not good. What, well, I mean, what are you going to do? You don't... You, thing is, you, you don't know... These, can we bribe them? Well, no, you can try. It won't go down very well. Um, you know, you're, you, you don't fucking... They're asking you questions you don't know the answers to, right? What are you going to do? I'm going to ring the only people I know that do know what they're talking about. And that's Orly Fox. And do you know what else they offer? I'm going to tell you. They offer you fee protection insurance. Do you know what that is? Absolutely no idea, mate. So I'm going to tell you, right? So if you get investigated by HMRC for a tax investigation or whatever the like it is called, an audit, some people might know it as an audit. Um, if, you're with, if you're with Orly Fox, they offer protection insurance which basically means if you get audited, audited by hmrc all your accountancy fees for orly fox to sit down with hmrc for hours at a time days at a time and go for every fucking nitty-gritty it's all paid for mate what yeah that ins that fee protection insurance it's covered yeah my grandfather got audited years and years ago when he was a feed rep for ooh, um a one of the big feed companies back in the like eighties, nineties, and he had fucking insurance, and he was like, "Tell you what, young, fucking saved like twenty grand, you little That's bastard. It. You know, fucking, it's like one hundred fifty, two hundred pound a month, <laughs> a year even. Oh, fuck that, no, sorry, Kieran, I think it's like a year. So like, peace of mind, peace of mind. 
Like how much do your home insurance a fucking a month? Like what, twenty quid? And um, no, because everything's insured in the garage and shit. So I think it's like forty, fifty quid a month. Yeah. So that's like what five hundred something quid a month for the very, 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 very tiny likelihood that your house is going to burn down. What's the last time you heard of a house burning down? Touch wood. Um, fuck me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When was the last time you heard someone got investigated by HMRC? Last week. Yeah. Exactly. Two hundred pounds a fucking year. I think it's fucking worth it. So hit up your fucking boys at Orly Fox if you're, you know, if you're concerned about that. Everyone should be because HMRC are back up and running now full fast. Oh, There's awesome. no, the COVID shit's died out. They're coming back with a vengeance, boys. So, you know, protect yourself, protect your neck. And let, <laughs> <laughs> I had to cram a little well, Wu-Tang in there. Wu-tang in yeah, track. so uh, hit up your boys up at Orly Fox. It's uh, at Orly Fox on Instagram, www.orlyfox.uk. They're in the description. They're in the link in bio. Both Orly Fox. Hit them up. Right. Beer of the week. What have you got for us here, Reg? I have uh, salt. Jute. Jute? I would jute. jute. I would say, I'd say jute. 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 Oh, ho, ho. Uh, session <laughs> IPA. And uh, who was it sent to us by Marlon? Absolutely no idea. Yorkshire fucking field sports. He sent us a massive gurk case. Northern to be beer fair, and to be, shit. To be fair, you wouldn't know because it got delivered here and it was fucking, I've been, I've been the one dealing with the monstrous amount of beer we've been ah. sent by him. So yeah, shout out to Yorkshire field sports for this, my man. Um, a brewery that I very much like. It is a... And remember, he is uh, doing the uh, Three Peaks. He is, yeah. So uh, also link it by for that. Uh, Hazy 4.2 Juicy Marlon, without any further ado, Hector, um. you can say it. Do you read the marketing bullshit there, please? <laughs> Polar Ex... No. Um, ba, 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 da, sharing its name with a highly versatile natural fabric that spun out into everything from bags to rugs, ropes to shoes, and here's the parallel. Parking tradition. We followed our brewing instinct to create an accessible IPA that would go down a treat whatever the occasion. Putting a spin on this hazy classic, we added a fine double act of Australian and American hops to create Fucking an nice. unusually crisp and light session IPA that still packs a flavor punch, delivering juicy citrus notes and low bitterness, melon fresh, melon rind finish. Mm. Oh, that fuck was me, that went on for a bit, didn't it? That was nearly a flawless fucking read that there. Was I just really good. fucked up and in your two words. And I want to give him props, because that was two-fifths of actually the marketing bullshit, because there was another three paragraphs above that. But we'll let him, we'll Yeah, let but that's from, the, that's from the brewery itself, and uh, I've already done that once. I we haven't got done. enough room on a card. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you fucking know. <laughs> to be fair, we are pushing it, so I need to keep my eye on, make sure that button stays red. <laughs> right, I, let's be go. fair... Looking at the description on the front, Hazy Juicy 4.2. Yeah, I mean, that's just ticking all my boxes. And it sounds that. like they're describing your fucking Range Rover. <laughs> don't Only talk one drop liner. Don't you talk about my paintwork like that, you little slut. <laughs> Hazy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Engine's juicy and she's a 4.2. Yeah, damn right. Oops, she's a 1600 SE. Sexy edition. <laughs> 1400, you can. Oh, yeah. the power. <laughs> oh, I only got a few more weeks. Oh, fuck me by the time this comes out. Ooh, might be nearly here. Who knows? It's not going to be nearly here. No, it won't. Well, they, they've said it'll be here, but I've heard Your dad that. has said, um, if it comes when you're away, I'm going to go and pick it up. Yeah, well, no, I told him he had to go pick it up because I don't want... No, he, he's, I'm going to drive it back for you. I, please do, because I can't bear the thought of actually seeing the people there. I, I, I've already told him. I was like, I can't. I just cannot... No, I won't be able to hold my tongue. And I'm trying to take... Fuck them. I'm trying to take the higher moral ground these days of... Why bother? Pay your bill. Nobody else does. And never go back. That's my vote with your fucking wallet. But Apart from I three just... weeks' time when it's got to go in for some warranty work. Listen here, you fucking pricks! Yeah. No, no. <laughs> it wants a chain already. It's done 200 miles. <laughs> Sorry, mate. They're on back order. We'll uh, yeah. We'll let you. Well, have this. We made this one out of cardboard. We'll let you have this it was cheap. Absolute doggo for uh, yeah. Have, oh, imagine have, that. Have a, have a C4 Picasso for the week, yeah. <laughs> Boys, I love it. I love it. It's good. It's good. It's good. Like how how many times have I said yeah. like I like a hazy IP juicy IPA, and that is literally. Fucking that melon wants to punch you in the face. It's good, man. Like I've not had anything with melon in. When was the last time you had a melon flavored thing? Um, where are we at then, boys? 
So I'm not a fan of IPA, as you all well know by now. I think it's all fucking weird shit. <laughs> but this is actually quite drinkable. It's nice, quite, isn't it? It is quite... I like the fruitiness. It's refreshing. It like, is. Properly like, refreshing. If you were at the end of a hard day's work of haymaking in the summer... Yeah. Oh, I forgot we live in 1938. <laughs> but <laughs> pulling, pulling in a wreck with your sickle. <laughs> Throwing your two stringers. Blacks and haired maidens walking around the edge of the field with a picnic. <laughs> if they bought you out one of these, you'd be fucking happy as that. Oh, they're like, cool, oh, that's lovely, that is. Oh, a pint of wine. I'll have a pint of wine. That's good, man. It's like it's got a little bit of a punch midway through. That tastes it a bit just... like a um, fruity neck oil. It does, actually. Yeah, I got neck oil. Oh, to be fair, I got neck oil in there. Yeah, it's like it, it's got that little bit more to neck oil, a little mm. bit less dry, more sort of juicy, like I said. And it's a little bit Shout of a, out. Yeah, <laughs> juicy angry, <laughs> Mark, my boy. Um, a little bit of a punch midway through, and then it sort of just goes off quite nicely into the sunset. I'm, I'm, I'm all about it, man. I love it. I love Salt Brewery. They're fucking brilliant. Marlon's looking at me like, right? I fucking hate it. No fucking bad boys, is it? What's your mate been like, Marlon? Oh fucking shit, Land Rovers. Go on, then. What are you thinking? It's all right. It's very flavorful, like that. Mango shit punches you in the that, face. Last week, uh, last last week, it was actually a couple of days ago for us. We did an episode and everything. It got all fives across so the board. It did. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Thank you, Mister Dwayne O'Connor. Dwayne O'Connor. Uh, Dwayne O'Connor, your man there. Sharpest beard lines yeah. of the southwest. Um, Mate, he's a fucking boy. He's Dwayne. I love him. Some fade. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> go on, then. You start us off, Marlon. Right. I don't like it. Okay, but. <laughs> Shock. It is flavorful. <laughs> I don't like you, but yeah. I sit here every week. It's not America! America. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <yeah. laughs> Amstel isn't from America either. <laughs> it's just... It's too much for me. It's too much. Like, the flavor, the aftertaste, it's all too much for me. No such thing as too much. Just a touch. A touch, touch too, too much. much. <laughs> Everyone's entitled to your a opinion. Yeah, there. boy. <laughs> All right, then, Keith. What? what do you think, mate? You've been sat in there. What do you think? You give us a. You give, you give us a five. Oh, no, no, I'm at three. Okay, Keith. What are you saying? I like it. Yeah, I, yeah. I do like. I'm like I said. I'm not a massive IPA drink. Um, if I'm not on the Guinness, I'm on the Gold, but. I, I could go into a pub and drink that all night. The most cockney thing he's ever said. Well, if not, I'd get this on the go. Not me, my fucking root. <laughs> all right, and I'll jump on you, mate. It's just the way you say things. It makes it so beautiful. Go on, what are you saying then? That's a <laughs> him and that fucking soundboard. You put me in a special hospital. <laughs> That's a fall for me. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I, I like really it. like it. What's, no, what's holding it back from a five, then? Are you going to punch him, or shall I? <laughs> I'm going to string him up by his fucking neck in a minute. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Don't I, mess the carpet. We, we've had some fucking good beers on it, like some really good ones, and like I was kind of comparing to what's been yeah. on before, like, you know, like the honeycomb one we had. Oh, don't, you know, don't, I don't even want to talk about it, all right? Because I can't find it and I can't get hold of it and it makes me sad in my brain. You can't give everything a five. No. It's, it, it, it's fucking close, I'm not going to lie, but it's, gonna, it's, a, it's a very strong four for me. H. And the can looks fucking good as well, doesn't it? It is. Uh, salt's, can does yeah. look salt's branded. It looks like a point. bumblebee. On point as fuck. I, I don't know, because I'm not as cultured as you can't. Well, just like, take it at face value, mate. What do you think of it? Like, you ain't got to compare it to nothing. Just... It's a labelled can. Come on, H. Time's yeah, ticking on, mate. There we go. Well, I'm Bit... just saying, it's a labelled can, you know. It's, it's just cheap. not... Yeah. It's yeah. not proper. But... The reason I think it's a labelled can, I'm not trying to, like, defend labelled cans because I don't like them full stop, but they do a large range of beers and they're constantly changing. So to do printed cans in... Uh, the like cost of it. It's, yeah, I think there's... Yeah, a, a, it, it, we, we, know, be, we know minimum quantity. quantity yeah, or, it'll or be down the cost, mate. Yeah, that's what it'd be. I mean, for me, I for an IPA as a non-IPA drinker, I'd give it a five because it's nice and it's drinkable and I like it. Yeah. And I'm, normally I'm... It's got to have apples in it for me to be interested. Apples. Apple play, apples in them. No, I'm I'm with I'm with H on this one. It's a five. It's, I love it. It's literally just ticks. I've, how many times? I don't know. I've fucking sat here fucking flogging a dead horse. But yeah, it's, it literally hits all the. It's hazy. It's juicy. It's an IPA. It's uh, it's four point two percent. It's not overly strong. Just fruity as fuck. Man, I love it. And it's a three thirty can as well. So it's not overly much. Marlon's looking at pressing a button. 
You can press the button, whatever. What button are you looking for? What's up, baby? There we go. Take me out the day. Hey, yo. yeah. So we've got a five, a five, a three, and a four. What are we giving that four? That's average. Right. Yeah. It's going to be about a four. I'll give, right. you, give you a four for cash, so I will, hey. <laughs> give you a four for cash. <laughs> so that's a... Uh, Shake me hand, hey. A four. Put your hand out. <laughs> Mike, Hold out your hand. Hold out your hand. Mike Brewer. <laughs> Can't. Yeah. Our China's never seen a fucking rusty bolt in his life, but can't. <laughs> uh, right, so that is a... Four out of five for Salt Jute Session IPA. Massive shout out to the Yorkshire Phil Sports for that one. Both right back into the desert island in which we are all stranded. Reg. Um, yeah. Reg. So, <laughs> if you had to watch one movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, this is a... Keith's got his fucking diary out again. Oh, okay. He's as bad That's as Gilo. That's not Gi- diary. <laughs> That's me in your notepad, mate. It's as bad as Gilo. Gilo on a post-it note. Oh, God, tell and everything. Oh, oh, mate, yeah. <laughs> I've got a fucking purpose for this in life, mate, and that's for the podcast. <laughs> that is literally your little black book, isn't it? It is, mate. Well, it was in the back. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Keith's phone book's like Mambo number five, isn't it? <laughs> hey, mate, look, it's got a secret pocket. What you you use your piss that? on that, don't you? Cards, that's what you put in there. That's Cards. cool as fuck. Rolled up notes. So my movie, <laughs> it was a, it was a close tie up, like everything has been. I'm trying to think. You got to pick one thing. I'm like fuck, I love so many things. Like crack, um, <laughs> <laughs> ass crack. Um, I was thinking about Place Beyond the Pines, which was one of my fucking favourite movies ever. But I've decided not to go with it. Yeah, you know, it's a fantastic film. So many levels to it. Great everything about it. I went with the B movie. <laughs> I'm going to need a fucking good explanation. <laughs> the B-movie, uh, in my opinion, is one of the greatest films ever made. I fucking love the B-movie. Have you seen B-movie? Are you on about the animated? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, I know when you're about. Larry yeah. the Bee. Yeah. Yes, him. Uh, Larry, the... Larry the Bee. Yeah. It's just, it's just never yeah, ending. I've got an excuse. I've got fucking kids, mate. It's like... endless insect fun for the whole family. <laughs> I love it. There's so many levels to B-movie. Do you know what no. my favourite type of bees are? Boobies. What? Boobies. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Absolute children. I thought I was jealous. <laughs> uh, no, I think... Uh, I love B-movie, man. Like, if I was going to be on Desert Island, I could think, like, oh, some real deep shit, like, Place Beyond the Pines. Two Girls, One Cup. Uh, yeah, there's that. Or, I don't think that's, like, an official movie, mate. Like, uh... It was on the internet. <laughs> like, Scarface, one of the classics. Uh, are any of these... Oh, like, any of these fucking films. But I was like, I want to be light-hearted and fun. I love B movie, man. Like it's, it's one of those films. It's one of the. Like, <laughs> I love B movie, man. I love B movie. Like Look at the excitement on his face. He's just there's beaming, so isn't many he? levels to B movie. Like there's jokes for the adults. There's jokes for teenagers. Joke for children. Like it's got slapstick. Everything about it just fucking rocks. I love B movie. Well, it, you surprised the fuck out of me with that. Do you think I was going to come in with some like, yeah, man? There's this like really good Swedish film that's like all in Dutch. <laughs> and like they only ever sneeze the whole way through. No, I was expecting like something good. No, I fuck it. I just love B movie, mate. If I, if honestly, if I, got no- you, boo. if I got nothing else to do on a Sunday and I've finished all my fucking series that I'm watching, The Last of Us hadn't come out yet, I'm just like, I put on B movie. <laughs> Bollocks to that. <laughs> do, you know you... The, do you know what the worst part is? My missus don't even know. <laughs> this is what he's telling her. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, when you went out earlier, <clears throat> I watched B movie by myself. He's definitely on the hub, isn't he? <laughs> What did you do this afternoon, Reg? I watched B movie. <laughs> yeah, just you... relaxed as fuck. B movie's boss as fuck. I love B movie. I know I'm going to take so much shit for it, but anyone in, in the Instagram, in the comments, in the wherever on the socials, like if you love B movie too, just hit me up. We are we it's few and far between, man. <laughs> we'll have a viewing party. It like was such, everyone it's gets such out. an underrated film, man. B movie's fucking epic. Next week in stage two of Reggie's mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Keith? This, oh, well, I don't think I, I didn't have to think about this. This is one of my favourite films of all time. Rise of the Foot Soldier. <laughs> Private Ryan. <laughs> no, no, it really isn't. You would have thought it'd been like Scum or some shit like that, but no, it really that isn't. Beats scum, yeah. My go-to movie has to be Crocodile Dundee. Oh wow! Paul Hogan. No, I rate yeah. that. I rate that. Do you know, like it's just. I think it's an all-time classic. It's not a knife. Yeah, no. it's a knife. You got a bit. You got a bit of comedy. You got a bit of romance in there. You got action, like a lot bit of action. action. Yeah. Is you know it I mean? Colombians in that? Is that the? Is that the bad guys? That was the second one, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, that's the second right. one. Was yeah, the sorry, yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. No, and it. I. I bought it on Netflix, so I can watch it over and over. I literally watch it over and over again. I fucking love it. 
Everyone has that film, don't they? Yeah. My old man had Predator on VHS, and he just, every time there was nothing on, just put Predator on. Yeah. Yeah, which was just a film about Uncle Gary. But anyway. It, I mean, the boat... <laughs> <laughs> I need the wee... You want to be in my gang, my gang, on a button. It's I'm just quality right. though, isn't it? I mean, is that bit where he's sat there by the river, and he's sitting there fucking having a shave, and he sees the girl come across, hides his fucking razor, and pulls his massive knife out, <laughs> and starts cutting up, like, you know, and... He's sitting there looking at him in Wally's watch. He's got the time. And she's like, oh, what time is it? He's looking up the sun, and he? On quarter past two. Let's go. It's, <laughs> it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And, and to be fair, I could picture myself living like him. Was it the first one when uh, Matey comes out of the riverbank and he's got a gun and uh, Crocodile Dundee says, oh, I don't need a gun. I've got a donk. That's the one. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. And Matey's like, what's a donk? And he goes, donk! <laughs> <laughs> and just fucking lamps him. Is it, yeah. Which is the one where he oh, gets no, his that's, telephone that's, out? That, that's the second... Oh, that's the first one. No, the second one, yeah, he makes a phone call, don't he? His little fucking stick and string, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, the second one's pretty fire as well. I think yeah, the second one sec- is severely the, underrated. The second second goes, to, like, he, he goes back to Australia, doesn't he? Because he's in America yeah, with right. his new wife and they get into that shit with the flipping Colombians. Colombians and then he says, fuck it, I'm not fighting them here. I'll go back to Oz. <laughs> yeah. And that's where he, he takes them out, doesn't he? Yeah. That's when the donk comes out. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Good choice. No, That's a choice. solid. No, I like yeah. that film. Solid. H. It was a tricky one because there's the obvious of my favourites. Don't say Bugs Life or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek, <laughs> Madagascar. <laughs> no, there was the obvious ones like Convoy and Smokey and the Bandit would be my two sort of absolute favourites. But then I realised that being the crayon eating window looking motherfucker that I am, I can I can pretty much do them word for word all the way through. They're yeah. ingrained, so I don't. It would be pointless taking that because they're already there. So, I went for Le Mans 66. Oh, good film. There are... Because the, the way I looked at it, there's a lot of elements to it. Um, the, the fact that if you're on a desert island, you can't drive. One of my hobbies being driving, you get to watch someone else Live do it. Live vicariously through the yeah, film. Yeah, and Ken Miles doing it, probably one of the best drivers of all time, one of the most underrated drivers of all time. Yeah. Um, there's that element to it. I can see elements of without wishing to get too deep, uh, me and my dad in Ken Miles. Yeah, in because it is it's a, it's a very much live. father and son, yeah. you know, film. Yeah, and I don't know whether it's just because I like it at the moment, but I saw it when it came out and I don't think I've watched it, well, I've watched it hundreds of times since then, but the I haven't ever watched it and gone, it's a bit boring. I probably won't watch that again now. I've, I've seen it enough times. Oh, I, yeah. As soon as I get to the end, I'm like, oh, could I watch it again? Is that, is that frowned upon? So, yeah, that'd be, yeah, Le Mans 66. Yeah, Mark, Warl- Mark Warbrook and Christian Bale, like, uh, that is an absolute... It was Matt fucking... Damon, but yeah, whatever. Oh, shit, sorry, yeah, fuck, I've done an absolute disservice <laughs> Matt there. Matt Damon. Damon. Yeah, they kind of look similar. Um, <laughs> it's just but, so many bits in it. Like, when, he's, it, it, when they're racing at Daytona and he holds up the thing that says 7,000 plus go like hell. And he's that's just... That's it, yeah. Christian Bale's like, all right. <laughs> in his really bad Brummy accent. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's Look so at this true. now! <laughs> <laughs> now then, now then. There's, now then, now then. There's, there's, there's a lot of levels to the film <laughs> as well. Like, we here? You've got, obviously... I thought Molly just hit a button. <laughs> 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 it's, it's absolutely... The whole thing is pretty much, you know, it's based on a true story. It's got, you know, it's got the rivalry between Ford and Ferrari. You've got the father and son thing. You've got the underdog story, like, yeah. ever. And then you've got the kind of, the two you've levels. You've got the bad guy of Leo Beebe and, yeah, oh, and just I, Leo Beebe, really. Yeah, but literally the worst human being known to man. If I see if I, if I see that actor in any other film, like, you, I don't know. You know he's, he's going to be a bad guy. You see clips of films on TikTok and you see the guy that played Leo Beebe and he's the good guy and you're like, no, he's still a cunt. No, no, yeah, 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 I yeah. don't care that you saved that child with cancer. You're still a cunt because you <laughs> <laughs> you, you robbed Ken Miles of his win <laughs> I do that with uh, any film with uh, John Krasinski and I'm like that is Jim Halper <laughs> <laughs> it's taken me a long time watching Yellowstone to get used to like Rip not being a bad guy yeah yeah well he's well he's not he's an anti-hero I'd say they're, to be fair they're all anti-heroes what? in Yellowstone too fast and furious Oh yeah, got a fuck hey, you. Yeah. I take my cutter fuck back. Yeah. Of course he is. Yeah, Jesus, he's way slimmer than that. Fuck me. Whoa, yeah. Holy fuck, you blew my mind. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy. Gracious God, my <laughs> like Gracious God. What about you? What's your fucking? What you take? This what has you... probably go. been the most difficult choice for me because there are movies I can sit down and watch over and over again. This like, is either going to be really fucking good or going to make me bang my head against this desk. Shut up, B man. Um, <laughs> P-Man is that like so like Drive 
Need for Speed. Ooh, drive. Wolf yeah. of Wall Street. Yeah. Or oh, again, yeah, Wolf like of Wall Street. Solid shout. Smokey and the Bandit. Mm. Um, Fury. Fury. Yeah, I, yeah, me and my a, wife have watched that about dictator. ten times. Uh, I can watch <laughs> those <laughs> over and over Marush. over again, <laughs> and I would blinding. not be bored. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with Fury. <sighs> Solid. Absolute. Fucking banger of a Just choice. From start to finish, it's incredible. Brad Pitt's amazing. Shia um, Booth, Shia, I mean, yeah, regardless yeah. of what you think of his political activism, wokeism, like he is an incredible fucking actor. Do you know he drank? I think no, it wasn't no. Sorry, wrong film. Drank a fifth of vodka. Don't no, make drive. No, when he was in um oh Lawless, another fantastic film that he was in. He all he drank was moonshine throughout the entire filming and just acted like a fucking asshole the whole time. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 that might have been Fury, actually. No, that, I think he, throughout the entire, I think it was the entirety of Fury, he drank moonshine the whole time just to get in fucking character Dude. and just be a fucking dick all day, it's got every day. Everything from, like, I love action to fucking fear. I think this um, is one of the... And his character is German, so yeah. Yeah, no, I fucking hate it, the German. The only, I'll tell you, the only thing that really fucked me off about that film was the Star Wars style gunfire. What but was that all about? Round. No, no, it's it's not, like every round's a fucking yeah, tracer round. I mean. like every that round is a no, tracer. No, it's every fifth. Yeah, but no, it's not because they're firing. They're firing tank shells at each other, and like red is bad and green is good. And you're like, for fuck's sake! That was the only thing that annoyed me about that. I call our tracer are red. What does that say about you? The bad Keith's boy. a bad motherfucker. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> yeah, I think the bit that got me in that film was when they went into that village, wasn't it? And then they started fucking banging them birds and yeah. raping them. And I was just thought, nah, man, you can't be doing that. That's oh, what, when they go into... Yeah, yeah but oh, 10 minutes later, they're dead. They're not, they're no, not it's the best way to have a one-night stand, stand isn't it? You haven't yeah. got to worry about a pregnancy test, have you? No. He's a vapour, 300 foot in the air. At least he ain't got any CSA payments. All of a sudden, it's not a him problem anymore. <laughs> They're in a different country. It was never a problem. She's in the inner atmosphere now. <laughs> she is, but pink mist. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is a veneer on the nearby buildings. Rebel, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Right, Reg. Um, one food. You got one food, mate. What mate, would I tried to What come could up, you eat forever? I tried to come up with something real clever and edge, not edgy, but something sort of controversial. But I just couldn't get past <laughs> scrambled eggs. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's like oh, I was going to be like, oh yeah, what you know, could I cook, what could I cook in the air fryer? I was be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I do my own chips a fucking boss alright <laughs> no I was uh, but I was yeah I was sort of having an R in like we're always going to go with like the Wendy's I'm like yeah but that's not really relevant and I've had it like once in my life and thought it was amazing but realistically it is a bacon double cheese XL from yes, Burger King yes, yes! yes! god tier god tier anyone who goes into fucking like don't go for the Angus this that and the other no. I mean even though it's my beef like fuck that <laughs> <laughs> Like just get the bacon double cheese XL. It's the is, OG. Yeah. It you is, can't beat it. Is it. Burger you just, King. Yeah. it is. There is nothing greater. Do you know what every like, you it, ask every single lorry driver what they have four times a day, yeah. and it's a bacon double cheese. I mean, XL. it was it was a close between that. <laughs> Unless you're clerking it sausage rolls in it from the M5. It was, <laughs> it was close between that and the the chili cheese bites because chili cheese bites are fucking Ooh. god tier shit. But no. especially at two you, in the morning. The thing is, you don't oh, you're noise. not you're not getting a full range of goodness, are you? You know, with the with the <laughs> but you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just there's getting, no sustenance. No, there. it's just deep fried cheese, and as much as they are only a side dish, if, unless you get twenty and you got hankering, like, but. But nah, it's, uh, it's have you seen? Have you seen though? Um, I was coming back from London the other week. Stopped at Fleet for a Burger King, and they do a bacon triple cheese XL. Ooh. Get on! It's the same thing with an extra burger in it. Holy and shit! Yes. You know, on the machines when you order them, it tells you how many calories is in each thing. <laughs> a bacon <laughs> triple cheese days, XL on. on its own. 1450 calories shit. just for the burger. I love you all. You have the fries and the drink. You're fucking with me. Nope. Because like a large, a, a large meteor from Domino's is like 1,600. And that's a lot of food. And you're telling me that burger Bacon on Bacon triple its own. cheese XL, 1,450 calories. Oh, fuck. So I had one of them. And then I had a double <laughs> cheese XL. <laughs> then I had a number nine. <laughs> and a number 47. <laughs> damn CJ. <laughs> All you had to do was follow the damn dream. <laughs> and a Diet Coke because I'm watching my figure. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, no, bacon double cheese XL. Like, I just, I was trying to think, like, what food do I just fucking like yearn for? What does my heart yearn for every day, every evening when she's like, oh, we're gonna have sausage chips, or we're gonna have fucking paella, or we're gonna have this, that, the other? And I'm just like, 
All I want is a bacon double cheese. <laughs> itself. You know what the best part is? Is the best part is we don't live too near to a Burger King, so it's always a fucking like when you get there, it's like it's nice. Yes, I would live fairly close Where to McDonald's. Fuck? Where's Burger King? Nearest one's um, Podymore, mate. Yeah, yeah. Is it be fuck? Yeah, Podymore's nearest Burger King, or you've got like down um, Bristol. <laughs> Avon Meads is probably the nearest one from the other way. Yeah, just sucks dick. Or like There's the one um, at the through... top end, top end of the Elminster bypass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you got. Um, or Celsius. Down Froome way, yeah. On Not the... even Celsius Park. Going the other way. I was just thinking about but going the other way. Minimum, you're looking at 10, 15 miles away. So, like, yeah, you just, it's not something you can get. It's not, it's not on the way to anywhere that you're ever, like, unless you're going past it. So, yeah, no, that's like. I tell you what does suck about bacon double cheese XL. Go on. And this is just me sounding like a cunt. It can be cunt. quite dry, I find. No, but not that. No. Just that's... being a tight cunt. When I was at college, I used to get the train home every day and used to walk past the Burger King in Salisbury. Always used to get a bacon double cheese XL before me dinner because you've got to have a starter for the main course, haven't you? What an ever-loving fuck. But it was a fiver. Just for the burger on its own was a fiver. Now, the burger on its own, like £8.50. That's a lot of money for a, like, a Burger King burger, given that Burger King is just McDonald's, isn't it? Well, it's not, is it? Well, yeah, but I know it's not, but it is. It's not like Five Guys or a, a fancy restaurant or anything like that. It's just a Burger King. You it have is them a fancy in restaurant. Like, it's not. It might be for you, you uncultured <laughs> cunt, but for the rest of us, it's a lot of money for just a burger. <laughs> it is. It's not cheap. Burger King is not cheap. It's better than when McDonald's. You can go and get like that's the Big what Mac. I mean. Like if you, if it's but not, the Big if, Mac has if got, got not, nothing on it. If no, it's not on the reg, cool. like it's boss as fuck. So oh, like, oh, you wouldn't be able to like. I wouldn't be able to like swing in. If I'm going in shopping, doing whatever, and then swinging McDonald's like a, every week, like you'd be like, fucking, that was expensive. But like, just on the quiet. Yeah. 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 I get you. Roger, that I'll fuck Ralph Lauren. It's not much to fucking ask, is it? Keith. Yeah. Food. You have one food, one meal to choose. Like, what's it going to be? Well, obviously, we're not going tactical, are we now? In all survival mode, so I've chinned off the fucking no, you bag of sausage and beans. <laughs> MREs. <laughs> Bread and dripping. Fuck that, mate. Now, honestly, I'd rather eat me own shit. Of all the things um, you could have bought, you bought a tin of spam. <laughs> oh, went, don't, don't knock spam. I went for. Baby back ribs, dirty Ooh. fries, and chicken wings. I want my baby back, baby back, baby that's back, your, baby that, back, baby that's back, your, baby back, baby back. That's ribs. your meal that you'll have to have like yeah. consistently all day long. I can get behind the dirty fries. Yep, I can get behind the ribs as well. Yeah, I, nah, I fucking you know, like I'm rib. not a fan of ribs. Why? I don't. You've know, got man. a limitless supply of them. I just they're just a fucking like it's just constant mess all the fucking time. Yeah, but who are you dressing to impress? You're on a desert island. Ooh. Ooh. They got hours. I could, yeah, to be fair, like, you've, you've got the sea there to go and wash off in. <laughs> Just splash. Oh no, splash. I'm dirty. Swim, clean. <laughs> so, boom. Uh, sink. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I swim like a black man. All right, so what, you uh, sink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Dirty chicken f- wings. Chicken wings. Yeah, again, like what kind just, of chicken wings? It's a lot of faff. Like it's like food. Like, something like, like a bourbon barbecue glaze on it. I'm a reg on okay. the chicken wings. I'm not a fan of it. No, I don't like. But if you're gonna have chicken, have breast. <laughs> No bones. Nah, in it. Like, I do it's... like a, I like I like a bone because chicken cooked on the bone is nice. Oh, ha, 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 ha. What are you twelve? Um, I, yeah. I did have like mac and cheese in there as well. Oh, I mean, can't. that's like my fucking mac and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna try mac and cheese again while I'm over there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it another go, like the tenth go I've given it on this podcast because I just can't. Just let let me do your mac and cheese. Rage. Everyone says this. Everyone's like, "I'll do mac and cheese for you. I'll do mac and cheese." No one's ever done a mac yeah, and no, cheese hey, for right. me. I, no, I didn't do <laughs> mac and cheese. episode on Red just judging everyone's mac and cheese. I'll do a Sean the Chef. I'll come round. I'll cook you mac and cheese in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> will you clean up after? The only reason yeah, why I didn't do any mac for that is fucking easy. I that is a know. good shout. We will do that at some point. Uh, um, can I? Can I be invited? Because I'm, I'm involved the mac in mac and cheese. All the mac and cheese heroes who think they can cook mac and cheese. Cook mac and cheese. I was going to do it when I did them burgers for you, mate. But I know you was mentioned about not liking. I'm I'm over. I will eat anything. I I don't. There's Dead very pussy. very few things in Steak, life that I don't cock, like. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Number one ass eater. <laughs> like eating ass is like pineapple on a pizza. It's not for everyone, but those who enjoy it are a bit more sophisticated. <laughs> it's like licking a nine volt battery. You know you shouldn't. <laughs> Just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just, I, I'm, I'll eat anything. Like, even if I don't, if, if I get served something and I don't like it, I'm just going to eat it. Like, Brussels sprouts, I'm not overly fussed about my fucking Brussels sprouts, but I'll eat the cunts. Like, it's just food. Like, give you a free bubble bath the next day, won't it? Yeah, that's it. Fucking rip, rip, <laughs> potato chip. <laughs> yeah, um, I can get behind, I can get behind the dirty fries. The rip rest chips, of it. Mate. I like that. Uh, 
Hey, ribs and chips, love it. Dirty fries is boss, man. What are you having on them dirty fries though? That's the thing. Everything, mate. Probably not jalapenos because he's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, like you said, it's all about opinions, isn't it? Opinions like arseholes. We've all got them. We don't want to fucking see or hear them. So exactly. keep your mouth shut. Um, <laughs> find to have one and find to be proud of it. But please don't wave it in my face. <laughs> That's I it. Think, same as religion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, it's great to have it. It's great to be proud of it. Don't go ramming it down people's throats. <laughs> <laughs> I just think your, your generic dirty fries with like the barbecue sauce, bit of mayo on there as well. A little bit bacon bits. Cheese, bacon lard bacon, on cheese bacon. Yeah, yeah, loads of fucking cheese. Mixed cheese as well. So we go for like a Monterey Jack, a bit of Red Leicester. Yeah. A, bit of yeah. 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 a man yeah. of culture in our midst here. You know, nice bit of stringy cheese. But yeah, Ooh, anything I'm nice slavering. and fattening. I'm fucking slavering here. I am really fucking hungry at the moment. Jesus, yeah, to be fair. Do, it's not too, did I do dirty fries when you come around that night? Food I think I did do dirty fries, didn't I? The amount, if anyone stops on this episode and grabs a fucking double bacon cheese XL, just sends me a picture, I'm going to fucking kill you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know whenever I'm listening to this, I'm back for America and I'm not going to be anywhere near a fucking BK. You're going to have to drive and get one at lunch, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, it's a fucking pool. That's going to be tight getting back. <laughs> but yeah, the, don't take a Range Rover, you won't make it. <laughs> the ribs have got to be sticky glaze, not dry rub. Yeah. Oh, no. See, I like, I, that's the one thing I do like about ribs is a dry rub, like, just. Uh, no one likes a dry rub, right? Well, Give it away, mate. Mm, too much friction, isn't it, Yeah, exactly. Too much friction. All mate. about that lubrication. <laughs> fucking hell. I just want to be stuck to my face. Be a barbecue sauce or 10W40, you've got to have that lubrication. <laughs> 10W40, 1540 <laughs> long drain. Goes in the Landini, goes in a Range Rover V8. Yeah, she, all comes in a 25 litre drum. <laughs> oil is oil. <laughs> was it no some, some, some oil's better than no oil. oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is one of the, my other great farming quote was told to me by um, Mr. Salter the other day that came from another man called Ben, which was, when that bucket's full, you can't get any more in them. <laughs> <laughs> So, that is so right for that. Fucking hear the, can't, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. You can hear the banjos in the background, but you ain't wrong. <laughs> right, H. See, one food. It sounds like I'm just copying everyone else, but I'm mac and cheese. Oh, wow. It's been my favourite food since I was like diddly little. And now I'm really the opposite of diddly little, probably from too much mac and cheese. <laughs> 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 I'm all about it. Oh, oh I, I, I couldn't get enough. I fucking love mac and cheese, mate. Like, is this, like, this is homemade mac and cheese, I'm yeah. assuming. Mother cooked mac and cheese. I, I don't know what... what it's, it's obviously macaroni and cheese. Is, is it anything special? Is it anything... You just ad- make a roux sauce, add cheese to it, and then put macaroni in it. See, what? mine's got like... Um... Truffle oil and fucking... No! <laughs> the juice of a foogie woogie tree from the, 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 the coast of North Carolina. And it's the tears just so of a virgin. <laughs> no virgin drown here, shy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, it's got it. like chorizo and chorizo. Yeah, no, smash it in yeah, chorizo. 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 chorizo chorizo makes everything better like to be and, fair uh, everything I bang like, that in a paella oof little yeah. um, dice pancetta yeah I don't know what uh, it's actually cheese. Sm- it's bacon yeah. no it's a oh it's yeah like no, bacon. yeah like a little yeah, yeah. No, little bacon, and yeah. it's like smoked cheese oh buff the Dark. beauty of mac and cheese is you can make it however you like it can't you Ex- yeah. you can adapt it to your own needs so as was, long as you've got mac and cheese, it's mac and cheese, Shag. I was debating saying another thing that mum cooks, and I'm a sucker for home cooking, but another thing that mum cooks, whole joint of gammon in the slow cooker, surrounded with brown sugar. Like, yes, cover it with for brown the glaze. Sugar, leave it in there for I Caramelized think it's like all eight or 12 fuck. hours. Caramelization around the edge, but even in the middle, you get that juicy, sugary, flavory, bacon y goodness. And I was debating saying, like, cook one of them and then shred that, put that in the mac and cheese. So Ooh, you've got oh. the best of both. But. Oh, just the OG mac and cheese. I could eat it for days. Mum does like a big saucepan of it and I could eat the whole saucepan on my own. It's um, tier one food, mate, isn't it? It is God tier food. Tier one food. It's sophistication as a food with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> right, call him Marlon. If you say mac and cheese, I'm going to fucking hit you. I'm going to have me a burger and fries. Okay. Anyway, nope. that's Marlon done. Donna, mate. Chip. Oh, you fucking garlic scumbag. Mate, was, uh, fucking I suppose bro. it was better than saying sperm, wasn't it? <laughs> I could eat Donna meat every single night. I don't mm. give a fuck what's in it. I nice fucking... lump of cat. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. I don't care if it's the got badges taste dog, good this time of year. Ear rolls, eye rolls, assholes in it. I love Donna meat. The worst thing about it is like it's so cooked on the outside, but it's still raw in the centre. And it care. gets thrown back in the freezer and back out on the hot plate the next day, isn't it? They call I that, could not um, give a shit. They call it Elas. Eyes, lips, and assholes. Yeah. <laughs> don't care. I fucking love Donna meat. 
I can't disagree with you because it's Donna meets good. hit and miss. You can if you get a place that does good Donna meat, it's the bomb in it. Yeah. But I you like, go to some places like shit. Like the, the fucking the chicken, uh, the chicken, oh, no. the chicken like, cheese, or like chicken, oh chicken donna, the, yeah, the that's chicken good donna, Ooh, fucking banging. But that's proper. The you just imagine you Marlon be. on his desert island. He's got the full like burger or kebab van sat the side of the road. You want some salad, bus? Hey, Chili salad want, sauce, bus? Sauce with salad, with that? Chips with cheese. You want the jalapenos and the cabbages? He's out cutting down a palm tree. <laughs> he goes back to cut, flip the third burner on, make sure he's ready <laughs> when he comes back. Like, oh no, no, I just. An extra lies and cheesy chips, yes? I, I can eat Garlic it. Garlic meal. But, like, there's a reason I eat it when I'm Special fucking sauce? out of my twat. Like, I just, I just, I couldn't eat it fucking sober. I can't stand the shit. Nah, I don't know, like, that's not me being like a cultured cunt. Like, even when I was young, I'm like, the only time I have it is when I'm like off me fucking bombs. That's it. And it doesn't matter how many times you brush your teeth, you wake up in the morning, your oh, mouth feels like a fuck. thousand cats are oh, shat in it. Oh, honestly. Jesus. <laughs> Put yeah, a I must be more like. Chip out your teeth. No, I'm. I'm agreeing. Like, I can eat it numerous times a week. You're not, I, I, you're not, you, please don't tell me you order a portion of Donna meat. I find it very difficult to drive past a kebab so, van. If I'm like on my way home from work, there's one, depends on where I've been working, but there's one on the way home. I find it extremely difficult to drive past there without getting a large Donna wrap with garlic, with oh, garlic mayo yes. to eat on the way home before oh, I go for dinner. Yeah. To be fair, Marlon, I'm on your side here with this because I remember when I was based down there all the shot way, they used to have a really nice Donna kebab shop down there. And I used to get a large portion of Donna meat and then go next door to the fish and chip shop and get a large portion of chips yep. and throw it all together. And it was like... Pfft, That's yeah. it. You've got to order it separate. Like if you're doing like a delivery, you get a box of Donna yep. and you get your large chips just because you don't want all the grease... Yeah, but their chips the are chips. shit though in comparison. Like fish and chip shop chips are the best chips, mate, <sighs> I think personally. You can't so, beat chips or chips. No. Nah. I like french fries. You're, you're uncultured. I never said I wasn't. <laughs> I never said you were. Just saying you're uncultured. I am. It's a fact. I'm a life. piece of shit. Everyone knows this by now. Of all the things, of all the things to eat while strandled, oh, for days and days yeah. and every meal. So, what, so what's your luxury item then? Toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Mouthwash. Yeah. You've got to say, he's been one, he's gone one step better than what we thought he was going to go for. Yeah. Chicken nuggets and chips. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> literally. Happy meal. Yeah, I was just thinking. Only turkey Twizzlers. I was waiting for the. I want the dino nuggets. OG turkey Twizzlers. <laughs> yes, mate, yeah. Them new ones are shit. <laughs> Fucking horrendous. I'm so glad. That's because they've, they've actually got Dirt. turkey in them this time. <laughs> Pre Jamie yeah, well, Oliver. Can we take that? <laughs> Fuck. I fucking hate that cunt. He's oh, ruined everything for us. Oh, um, where are we God. at? One luxury. Um, well, I've gone a bit off the uh, off the deep end with this one, boys. That's a surprise. Yeah, I've gone with acid. <laughs> <laughs> Can we clarify what's, what's that to wash Marlon's acid? teeth off? Is that a fucking that, kebab? Are we like hydrochloric or <laughs> LSD, boys? <laughs> Every day on that desert a uh, desert island is a new adventure. <laughs> He's been to Disneyland twice. <laughs> <laughs> one, you think it's like one day. I'm scoring the winning penalty against Germany in the World Cup finals. And the next day, swim, swimming with unicorns. <laughs> the next day, I'm fucking, I'm taking my armies to march on Buenos Aires. <laughs> and then the next day, I'm balls deep in Angelina Jolie, watching fucking Tony Blair get slowly fed into a wood chipper. You know? Bowl the while you're sat there getting sunburned on a beach. It is just, it's the gift that never stops giving. I just, I just, I think it's fantastic. I, I, I was like trying to think about it and I was like, does it coffee machine? Did I take this? Now I thought, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take acid, because imagine the adventures you'd have and the that, tales yeah. that you would come back with. See, I was thinking outside the fucking box. That is, who said you're coming back? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, who says you're coming back? Like you might be there, but you might be there till you're fucking dead. But I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm out there living it. Imagine just looking at the same fucking palm trees and the same fucking, I don't know, crabs all the time. Crap. I'm going to the. <laughs> I'm going to the fucking moon, boys. <laughs> An endless supply of LSD. I'm having the best fucking time of my life. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell uh, no, me no, I'm I can, fucking I can. wrong. I've, I've never done it, so no, I wouldn't neither know. Have I, mate. Neither have I, but the time to do it is on a fucking desert <laughs> island when you got fuck all else on. <laughs> I ain't gonna be at work tomorrow, shag. <laughs> no fucking drug testing when I'm sat there on a beach wanking myself to death. <laughs> Just watch out for the crabs. He cunts red raw. <laughs> 
to be fair, who needs Pornhub when you're at it? You're just like, ah! Imagine, I'm just, all I'm doing is just rolling around in sand for hours on end. Oh, That's wow. fine until the one thing you can't get out of your head is fucking Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> a bad <laughs> trip. Blue passports. Blue passports. Oh, it's a challenging wank, this one, isn't it? <laughs> one bad trip and I'm the pig's head for David Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that was so. I thought about you that. You get boned was... by Maggie Thatcher with a strap on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you turn if you want to. This <laughs> lady's not, not for turning. turning. <laughs> yeah, I just don't see how it's a bad <laughs> joke. Like, I, I, I don't know if you can top it, man. I get that. Because no, it is, yeah. it's taking you to another dimension every day. I've never, I've never done LSD, but I can imagine that it is just the fucking bomb if you got fuck all else on for the rest of your life. What about you, Marlon? <laughs> right, so this was... I don't know if I've made the decision yet anyway. So I've got um, beer or Xbox written down. Oh. Beer or Xbox. Because everyone knows I love my bear. <laughs> everyone knows I love Wouldn't Xbox. That, yeah. So if you had your Xbox, like, I can play games for a fucking hours on end. Yeah, but does that include Not... the telly that it comes with? Like, is that, because that's yeah. more than one thing? Well, no, it's a package. Package deal, Shaq. Let's, let's, like, oh, like, let's, like, let's, let's take it, let's take it, like, pretend it's old school, old school GameCube with a screen that flips oh, up. Oh, yeah, you still get those yeah, on, the, yeah. uh, on the new Xboxes, apparently, yeah. So you can take a Game Boy, then. I'm gonna shit. Marlon and Tetris. Three days in, he shot himself. <laughs> oh no, he ain't got a gun. Wait a minute, he's wandered out to sea. You keep <laughs> ruining mine. <laughs> mine was gonna be a shotgun. <laughs> I'm fucking change it now. Um, right, I'm gonna go for beer. 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 Well, it's, I get that. It's the same thing as acid. Like you can just get fucked up and just tit about. Yeah, and it's nutritional. Hydrating I don't, is is actually is it's beer neither actually, of those it, things. It's, <laughs> I was just it's the say, opposite it's, of those things. I, I think you end up dehydrated as fuck and fat. Yeah. Be fair. If you imagine getting rescued off a desert island, like fat, and you come on, <laughs> fucking <laughs> the Japanese will be there with their fucking whaling ships, <laughs> wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you got here? Come along, Sanzu. Yeah, we need two harpoons for this one. <laughs> Come, Kazi. <laughs> Fuck off, you cunts. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I could probably sit and drink beer all day. Can I? I uh, yeah, I think. Uh, do you know what? If there's one thing I think you could do. It is that beer and kebabs? It be in your happy place when you're <laughs> 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 essentially. What Marlon is doing? Is listen to the Eagles <laughs> with a beer and a kebab. <laughs> Honestly, what Marlon's done is just moved his own life. He's to, described yeah. a Saturday night <laughs> to a more nice climate. <laughs> He's described a Saturday night, put it on a beach, and longed it out a bit. <laughs> Shag, you just you just go to Florida. Like it's this chill, man. Like you don't go to Desert Island. Can we move here as well? Oh fucking hell. Oh yeah, H, what have you got? Well, I did have shotgun, but now I feel like you've already said it. I got you something else. Oh no, no, I, I, well, I see I go with a gun. Like shotgun. It would make more sense than fashioning a spear. I'll give you that. Well, I'm not being funny, but I ain't well, gonna I don't be, know, there won't be, be much a... of a prawn left after you've shot it with a shotgun. Oh fuck they cunts. I ain't going to be able to harpoon a fish very well. I thought However, you were going to say, I ain't going to be there very long, boys. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing, it's multi-purpose, isn't it? I, I can hunt bored. food as long as I want to hunt food for. And when I get bored of that, I can fucking suck start a I'd probably go with a rifle, not a shotgun, because once you turn a shotgun on a fish, which is like four yeah, inches long, you ain't got a long way away. You just just pull the, pull the bits out of what's left of the fish. Plus it's all steel shot you now, anyway. Shoot fish, you can shoot monkeys or something, couldn't you? Yeah, monkey kebab. Yeah, there's no fucking death row to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> See a badger walking around, you're fucked. <laughs> Proper fucked. <laughs> the fucking tables badgers. have turned, you little Frisian pig. <laughs> <laughs> you black and white fox, where's the government to protect you now, you bastard? <laughs> Here's your legislation, you fucking prick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take that 40 grand, fine a year in prison and stick it out your ass. To be fair, if you had a shotgun, uh, limited ammunition on Desert Island... You could do everything with a shotgun. Yeah. I need to get some coconuts down. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Clean your teeth. Bang! <laughs> oh, that's a touch of tonsillitis there. Yeah. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> that job's fixed, isn't it? <laughs> I need to call in the night. Bang! <laughs> everything. You see everything. a flying monkey? 
Bang! I need to dig a hole. Bang, bang, bang! bang. <laughs> hole dug. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, it'd be, it'd be enough to keep the monkeys like a midget at a urinal, wouldn't it? Constantly on their toes. <laughs> Yeah, there's en- endless fun to be had with with. with. But you think there's no rules to constrain of what you can and can't shoot? Any seagulls that come in, they're fucked. <laughs> you can shoot whatever you want. Japanese, there are they're no fucked. Japanese immigrants, they're fucked. As soon yeah, as they, they get out of that fucking fridge trailer, they've had it. <laughs> <laughs> and no port. Yeah, there's no there's no gov- government authorities to be like. Excuse me, that's a protected bang. <laughs> <laughs> and if a man does turn up in a suit with a clipboard, like, ah, bang. sorry, you can't shoot both. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's a veneer on the nearest palm tree. It's not a me problem anymore. <laughs> bang. Yeah, got got to cut down a tree. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, I I get it, man. This yeah, it's multi-purpose. Guns are fun. Exactly. Mm. It's like a toothpick, only more useful. <laughs> Don't smash clean the gaps between your teeth as make new gaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Keith, what is your luxury for the desert island? Well, my first list, I had like a machete or a cookery written down just to like survival instincts, wouldn't it? I thought I'd get myself through, but then I realised this is all a bit of a piss take, so I put no, down... No, not on air. Not, no. no. Correct me if I'm wrong, but every time you draw a cookery, don't you have to draw blood of something? That's the idea, mate. So if you draw it and the monkey runs off, you're going to lose a finger. Yeah, and he's going to get fucking hunted down. But we're not going for the cookery. <laughs> we're not going for that. We are going to go for a fleshlight and shitloads of lube. <laughs> yeah. The reason being is I've spent a long time getting people pregnant. And if I can't be on a fucking <laughs> island, then my challenge is to get the fleshlight pregnant, isn't it? A large part of my career has been getting people pregnant. <laughs> well, I say people. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, so, so, so far we've got acid... Xbox, Fleshlight. No, I just bear. I just bear. Oh, sorry. Uh, you, so, beer, beer, gun, acid, and Fleshlight. So, describe to me what your average white man does on a weekend. <laughs> Minus the acid. I mean, as a collective, we're fucking sorted. Yeah, yeah. like, if you took, if you took, a, if you took an average <clears throat> of white men in the UK, or just men, not even white men, just men in the UK, just, uh, what do you do? Uh, uh, you've nailed it. But what are you going to do with yourself on a desert island? Yeah, I think... It, you, it, you got no one there, have you? You had, to be, you had to be fucking dry as yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Imagine all, all that, that sand, sand and salt water. So oh. that is gonna, you, you want some yeah, of that O'Keefe's you, fucking you, shit on your... Yeah, you, you'd end up, that would have been a shame. You'd end up like a cauliflower knob, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Callous, what the fuck? Oh, oh fuck. Oh. She's hardened. <laughs> like my bell head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, have you got any particular brand of fleshlight we're talking about here? No, it's just like just a genuine mum. Not one of these like knockoff things we get down here on a Christmas special. It's got to be. Any mind? She served me well. <laughs> now we're gonna go for. A, uh, I, I put more loads into that. They have no fucking synergy. <laughs> <laughs> got to be like a love, honey, genuine. If you're not have spending seventy five quid above, and... then you're not getting a good one. No, that's true. Yeah. I still want one of them banana cleaners. You've seen those? They're the fucking boys. I've seen the adverts for it. I was, yeah, I, those banana cleaners, they get your banana very fucking clean. Reg, I'll put it on the wish list. <laughs> Make that too. <laughs> you just imagine Reg after a podcast one night, sat there bollock naked apart from a fez and a <laughs> banana cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> it's so shiny. I don't want that image in my head. <laughs> I'm the king of podcasts, woman. I'll put it please. Sat there, he's chromed penis. <laughs> Sat there drinking Kool Aid and wanking himself silly. <laughs> yeah, it's fun being a cult leader, man. It's fun. <laughs> All right, what person would you bring them all on? Now, this is the only thing I've got no nothing written down for. Nothing, nothing written down for. Um, I tell you what, everyone's going to be like, ah, oh, bring Chief. No, Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Why? Elaborate. Infinite, him. infinite fucking comedy lines. Lovely bloke. Funny as fuck. Like, just a normal, nice bloke with a load of money. I just feel like... What he's... use is the money on a desert island? What are you going to do? Run down a bank? Get out yeah, of but he's cash. funny. He's funny. Like, I could get him to recite Deadpool and shit. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm going to say something that's... Fucking gonna upset a lot of people. I think that man is a one trick pony. I, I think agree. he I think he plays the same fucking part in every fucking film. The first couple of films I watched, I was like, this guy's hilarious. The last couple of films I've watched, I'm like, you're just the same person. 
from the last outfit. ten fucking films. I am a simple man with simple needs. Man, I ain't shitting on it. Like I, you, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Like I like the Wu Tang. You fucking hate it. Like it, it is what it is. But I just, I, I think he, I, I think I'd be going round robin after about two days. I'd be like, you know what, mate? I'd be getting a Hector shotgun, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be eating your ass. <laughs> Or there's Angelina Jolie. I mean, I yeah. There is no straight man in the world that wouldn't vibe with that one. I yeah, not not current Angelina Jolie. No, I, like we Tomb talking, Raider. Yeah, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider back. Yeah, Tomb Raider one. Angelina Jolie. She's looking a little, little bit skeletal these days, to say the least. But yeah, no, I yeah, I get down with that. But yeah, Ryan Reynolds, like oh, I don't know, like I think. I, there are, he's a genuine bloke. Like he's bought fucking the majority stakeholder in Wrexham FC That's as in just it, yeah. for a laugh. Like, yeah, but he, and to be fair, he does get behind it and support it, which is good. Yeah, and he does. He's not just like a. He, he's not like he's not a, a silent partner. Exactly. What I was yeah. gonna say. Yeah, and he's got his like gym thing and that all going on. But like, I just wish he'd give a bit more of a deep performance in some and of the his films Twitter that he does. Game but is fucking fantastic. Yeah, him and his wife. What's her fucking uh, name? Blake Lively. That's, That's it. it. Oh, honestly, that on Twitter is fucking brilliant. I'm not shitting on as a person. I'm just saying, like, as an actor, I'm like... But then again, if you get him offered, like, shitload of money to play the same fucking character again, are you going to turn it down? No. 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 All right. Well, maybe. Maybe I've talked myself around him, Marlon. I don't know. All right. Uh, uh, I don't know. What about you, mate? Me? <sighs> I thought really fucking hard about this. And everyone's probably going to think, oh, yeah, Reg will take Hitler. No. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, now then, guys and gals. What no, are you taking Gary Glitter? Or Savile or Glitter. No. <laughs> I'm going to take the man behind you. Trump. Mr. Donald J. Trump. I just, I, do you know what? There is nothing I would want more than to take Trump out of Manhattan or Key Largo, wherever you know he resides. Hector, I'm borrowing your shotgun. And put him. That's fine. I'll put a buckshot in. And put him in a desert island because I think he'd just be brilliant. I do. I, th I think he'd just be like, you see those trees over there? Those trees? Very yeah. nice trees. Beautiful yeah. trees. You those know. are my trees. I'm going to build a wall yeah. and I'm going to make you pay for it. I'm going to be one side of the wall. You're going to be the other and you're not going to be able to come over here. <laughs> exactly. My father, he made those trees. We built, we built Manhattan from those trees. He gave me a small loan of a million dollars. That's literally. You see, starfish, I actually invented starfish. I don't know if anyone knows. See the see those crabs, Hillary Clinton. That's Hillary Clinton right there. You see, <laughs> he just stamps on one violently. <laughs> <laughs> see that? That's see Hillary Clinton at the last election. Do you see how she did? You see how I did? I don't remember her being president. Over there in the bush, jungle chickens. You see those jungle, jungle chickens? Seagulls. Are <laughs> They're rapists. <Clip> chickens. <laughs> They're murderers. They bring crime. <laughs> I just think he'd be fucking... Imagine me and Trump just doing acid, eating fucking cheeseburgers in a desert island. I can't think of anything better. I think he'd be great. If you take him out of his natural habitat and just sat down with him as a person, inf had infinite time with him, and just get inside the mind of that man. I Don't just get inside really a 75-year-old man's head with Alzheimer's. Uh, well, he's, not, he's not biting, is he? Is it Christmas? Or... <laughs> Goodbye. Hey man, whoa, hey there. Apples. Hey friend, whoa, what do we I don't know what day it is. Am I am I a senator or am I God I need a poo. <laughs> <laughs> that is that man. You see that now they're actually campaigning. No I'm fucking sectioned. They no, they're campaigning for um is it uh basically whether you're mentally fit to run after Joe Biden because they've realized they're like He's a vegetable. No, just fuck. The Democrats were like, what can we wheel out that's good? Let's just put... Who have we got left in there? Let's go old white man, you know, standard, and uh, a, a middle-aged black woman. Great. Awesome. Let's put those two together. That will get the fucking left-leaning votes. It did. How's it gone? Not fucking well. So I, I just... Yeah, I don't know. You can't um, really picture Alabama voting for a black person, can you? There's a quite there's a big black community in Alabama, and there a lot of them are Jesus <laughs> Christ alive. <laughs> I don't think you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> he just went there. I saw uh, one three one fifty three eighteen. Oh right? come on! <laughs> when I get when I get through TSA, what do you do? Not a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I see you like on the forms now. You can put in like all in the yeah, Esther forms. Yeah, you can. You can put in all your social media handles. O Absolutely not. In brackets, <laughs> optional. Thank <laughs> fuck for that. Absolutely not. No social media presence. I'd, if I 
if they made that like I just deactivate everything for a week. To be fair, if you're flying into California, they'd be like denied. If you're flying into Texas, they'd be like, come on in. <laughs> Texas, fucking, I breeze through that. So did I in Miami. I thought I was going to get fucking grilled. They're like, what you doing over here? I'm like, going to go see friends. Well, you have a good time. <laughs> when we it. went into Florida, they were like, where are you staying? How long are you staying over here for? What are you doing over here? Why are you over here? Uh, what did you have for dinner last night? What's your mum's dog's cat's maiden name? Would you fly in? You flew into Orlando. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's This is such an influx of people. Flying to Miami, they're like, what are you here to do? And you're like, cocaine. They're like, nice. See you later. <laughs> That's it. Like, coming into cocaine Texas. Cocaine and hookers, my friend. What are you doing there? Going to see some racing? You're not racing, are you? No. Oh, there you go. Bump. Yep. Coming to Texas to give you a gun and a bud on arrival. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need these, sir. <laughs> Welcome to the Lone Star State, boy <laughs> We got the biggest skies in the world down here, and you're going to need a gun to protect yourself. <laughs> On the way out, there are, f- like, uh, vending machines. With guns. Beer. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. On the way out, out of the I airport. I thought going to Lanza Rock, you can make vending sense. machines you, fags good. Yeah, but, like, you, that, you can buy beer in a vending machine, but you can't buy fucking whiskey at a Walmart. Like, what the fuck? But if you want a pump-action shotgun, no problem. Oh, you problem. can buy that at a Walmart, yeah. Yeah, just drag that Clean up on aisle three, please. <laughs> Swack, push that through the fucking self scan, <laughs> self checkout. What is it? No mil pistol saving on the vat. <laughs> There's old fucking uh, minimum wage at the end of the aisle looking at you like, yeah, right, yeah he's all right, bro. If you're right, bro, you send her on. Fucking Florida got ID'd every single time yep. we bought anything. Yep. Texas, I probably got ID'd once. Weird, isn't it? It's, it's strange, but the thing is, you got a large sort of, you got a large tourist population in Florida, so they got yeah. a little on it. Whereas Texas, they're like, yeah, do we fucking like. Literally. Yeah. There's more guns per people. Here, you gonna fuck up, you gonna find out. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> what about you, H? Who you who you bring on the desert island? Oh, I'm gonna come out really on the left field here, and you're probably gonna get me on a technicality. Technicality mode? I'd bring Reg. Wow. Because, hear me out, he's got an endless supply of acid and an endless supply of cheeseburgers. <laughs> I've got an endless supply of mac and cheese and an endless supply of shotgun shells. You combine them four things, we is gonna have a fucking whale of a time. I am high on acid shooting seagulls. The, Name I, me a better Saturday night. <laughs> there is a technicality there. Fucking oh, is he telling me I can't bring the things that I've got? <sighs> He's on the desert island, not you, mate. Oh, uh, so, so he can yeah, bring just... everything with him. He can bring cocaine as well as acid. <laughs> he can bring a boat, small boat, full <laughs> of Vietnamese migrants, or just the ones no, from Calais. They're, they're all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> they're all lying on the ground. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the Polar Express. <laughs> you imagine Red Fox up okay in a rowing boat. The, I think the it's only okay because all... the only people that get the joke are people that know and are just like, haha, that's also funny. Yeah, and and the, it's but... a Wednesday recording, so fuck yourself. And yeah. the, people, the people who are the butt of the joke are already dead, so they can't really complain, can they? That I they probably died halfway wouldn't across have the said that. I was going to say, we were all good up until that point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> oh. They just wanted some... Is that your final answer, bringing me? Oh, well, no, if I'm not allowed the technicalities of acid and cheeseburgers, I'd probably... <laughs> I don't want you without your fucking acid <laughs> cheeseburger, you boring bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Red. I don't, Friday, there Friday are a afternoon. lot more people interested in me, uh, uh, there are a lot more interested people than me in life, mate. Don't I'm just like... saying, it's a Friday afternoon, we've got nothing else on because we're on a desert island. Give us a couple of tabs of acid and I'll give you the shotgun for a couple of hours and see what happens. <laughs> but if not, I'd probably say Jeremy Clarkson. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I could talk to him for weeks. The thing is, like, I know people that have met him and just say that he is exactly how he how comes he, across. How he is, yeah. Like, there's no, there's no, there's no front there. There's no like no. accentuated personality. He is just how he is all the fucking time. I just, like, yeah. I could, and talk I can to well him. believe that as well. I've already spent yeah. three days speaking about local can- <laughs> local council plan permission issues. Like, oh god, the, the trouble I am putting up my straw barn, Jeremy. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> That's, there's so many things you could talk about, or well, that I could talk about, that I'd find interesting and would never get bored of Cars, talking. Cars, politics. Cars, politics, farming. farming. That bitch princess from America. <laughs> God. Yeah, like, he's, he, I think he's, he's such a well, well-traveled... We want well, privacy! We, we want, want privacy! privacy. <laughs> Come on, bitch Instagram-loving Instagram bitch wife, we'll go find our privacy somewhere else! <laughs> Oh, I do. I love that because it was so true. And not only that, because South Park takes the fucking piss out of everyone. Yeah. There is no... Everyone is equal. 
everyone is equal. Yeah, exactly. Some are more equal than others. They, 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 everyone is on a level playing field. You're all in for it when it comes to South Park. It doesn't matter if it's a fucking school shooting or a president or gays or anything. You are all in for it. But they make one fucking joke about them and they're like, oh, I didn't really didn't write. Oh, fuck off. Also, on the, Wait, point of, uh, on the point of shooting, it's just completely random. It's something I saw on the internet. So it might not even be true, but I found it quite interesting. Was um, how many days are we into 2023 so far? Um, where are we now? 22nd of February. Uh, 22nd of February. What we year? Are 53 days in. 53 days in. So I saw something, I saw it a couple of times from different people. Granted, one was on TikTok and one was on Facebook. So, so sources. Proper, legit. Yeah, obviously, it's yeah. more legit than Wikipedia. Um, and YouTube. There have put been together. 67 shoot, mass shootings in America this year. And we haven't had that many days yet. Oh, it's not, relative, not relevant to anything that we're talking about, but I just thought it was quite an interesting statistic. They've been busy. They've, <laughs> They've been, been busy ba- boys. They've been busy boys. <laughs> we're we're going to ban fully automatic weapons. Just means that everyone else's trigger fingers are getting more tired. That's all that means. Oh, they banned uh, they banned fully automatics back in the uh, I think the late eighties. Bill Clinton brought that in, so they've only so that's why you see these like binary triggers or and like double tap stocks. triggers and bump stocks. Yeah, yeah. so to try and but get around it. You can still it. buy. Uh, you can buy f- pre yeah, pre that dealers, legislation dealer samples and stuff like that. They're just very very expensive. And very like it takes. About could, nine and a half grand for a fully auto. Yeah, they? and then you buy it, and it will take up to like a year to get all the paperwork put through because the ATF are like really don't want you to have a fully automatic. But you can go and buy a semi-auto shotgun tomorrow. Yeah, which will do equally probably I more often, damage. Which holds it mags. Yeah, I do often that you can buy like a, a Glock seventeen with a fucking hundred round drum mag, like you know, just blah 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 blah. blah. Imagine the devastation you can do with that because they're still going to be lethal out of two hundred yards. That might not be accurate, but it'd be lethal. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> Well, it's gonna, thing, if you've got 200 thing, rounds in it. If it's yeah. going to kill something, isn't it? If there's one thing to be said for the Americans, it ain't accurate, but it's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the American philosophy to all wars ever is just accuracy by volume. Yeah, if, that's, you throw that's enough, it, yeah. if you throw enough shit at a wall, some of it's going to stick. <laughs> oh, man. When he took me out to shoot that 50, he was like... He just was, that a, was that a 50 AE or a 50 BMG? BMG. BMG. Fuck. Yeah. Um, he... We wheeled it out in the case. Wheeled it out, mind. <laughs> <laughs> Cunt didn't carry, so it's all right, we've got a case for that. Um, he set me up and he put some clays at the end so yeah. that you don't shoot the targets because it blow the targets apart. Oh, you shoot fuck. the clays on the side of the bank. Yeah. And I missed the first one and he was like, I mean, you were nearly there. I was like six inches off the cunt. The second one, he picked me up a little bit and he aimed it a little bit better for me because I'm like a bit spasticated. Put the cross where the target is. Did you make sure, like, I just want to ask, did he make sure you had enough eye relief on the, uh, you weren't like, not saying you're an idiot, but like some people... You weren't deep throating the scope with your yeah, eye. some people like do that on the scope. <laughs> like, I'm doing it on the microphone with my glasses now. <laughs> I was going to do that and I thought, no, I'm not going to do it because I look um, like a spastic and I look over the bar and <laughs> what do you know? I, Hello. <laughs> I, I think I didn't do that, so... No, 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 but I, I just, I'd, I wish I'd have been there when he goes, uh, uh, eye back a little bit, just... Ugh. No, that's it, like, I know... How do I You're not hold, daft. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's up for debate. I just love how the fifty the fifty BMG is not an anti personnel round; it's an anti material round yeah. to get out of the Geneva Convention of shooting big things at small people. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Fucking incredible! You need you, to try. You need to fucking try it when I, you're I've, over there. Yeah, I've said we're going to go to um, so Oakland, much for luck, Oak Bridge, Bridge, or Oakland or whatever it is. What they don't have fifties. No, but I don't... I they don't, got 44 Magnums. Yeah, but like, I want to go to a decent gun range where they're not fucking snotty bunch of cunts mm, that won't give you any lucky? help. Like, the only reason I managed to operate a Glock 17 is because I played COD. Like, I knew exactly <laughs> what I was doing. I was like, click, clack, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the hammer down. Boom! Let's go! It was yeah. a quote I was listening to. I was listening to another podcast the other day and uh, it was some, like, ex-Special Forces American soldier read people and they said that um, in the Special Forces, they're only allowed shotguns for, not room clearance, but breaching doors, yeah. but to use for breaking down doors. And one of those Special Forces blokes like, you'd be surprised out there how many doors used to have a funny hat and some sandals on. <laughs> 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 we used to clear a lot of doors. <laughs> we used to have to count for every round that we fired down range. And you'd be amazed in a, door, in a house with four doors that we fire 18 rounds in it. <laughs> <laughs> we splattered that door all over the opposing wall. 
<laughs> oh, fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, what about you, Keith? What person are you taking? Well, I reckon she went through my notes last night because I climbed in the bed and she went, so who would you take with you then? Apparently also, Lisa Rand wasn't an option. <laughs> ain't going to be you, is it? <laughs> well, I'm not being funny. I got my fleshlight. Yeah. So you it, don't need a female. It's not going to moan at me. It's not going to fucking kick uh, off. Yeah. Okay, gonna, where are the coconuts and the fucking jungle chickens? I can use it as much as I like. Whenever I like. But no, I thought about celebrities. I thought about famous people. All this sort of shit. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm going to take my mate JJ, the useless piece of shit that's not come on yet because he's always too busy. Two reasons. He's funny as fuck. And two, he's got the basic survival instincts. So I ain't got to carry the cunt. Between the pair of us, we can get ourselves through. We'll be fine. You'd be and we can like, have a laugh. You'd be like those two um, uh, sort of jungle blokes from Asia. Oh, on well, I was going to go from the Mighty Boosh. That, that like dig their fucking dig like a swimming oh, pool yeah, and have like it. a full fucking you know everything you'd be yeah, you, fuck you wouldn't mate you'd yeah. be living a vida loca right I mean like fucking middle of butt fuck nowhere it didn't take too long he's got pool mm, yeah it didn't take too long for me to think about it. I mean like I think back on the times me and him had together wherever we've been we've always had a laugh we've always had a fucking brilliant time any shit situation has always been made funny Sat in a sandy old hole out in Afghan, 762s going over your head, just telling jokes to each other. Uh, he Shit never made it. Bag. He got done for drink driving. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, bless him. But he made up for it in Canada, though. But no, on it, he's, a, he's a fucking top lad. He knows his shit. He's all over it. Do you know what I mean? And we've we've never had a dull moment. There's always an interesting story to tell. That's it. There's always something to talk about. There's yeah. always something going on. We've never, ever had nothing to talk about. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We've had a fucking brilliant time together. We could sit there and reminisce on the stories of things that we've done together time and time again. And like I said, you know, I could sit there and say to him, Jay, go and get us a bit of wood, mate. We've got to make a fire. He'd know what to do. If I said that to the missus, fuck, so she'd be like, well, Ocado, Ocado are not delivering tonight, so... <laughs> Where do we get the wood from? <laughs> Look, she's brilliant. They but... sent us briquettes as a substitute. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy with that? <laughs> oh, I'm not fucking doing islanding no more. This is shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Where's the hot tub? Tonight on Love Island. Marlon eats a fucking chicken nugget. And a Reg, Reg <laughs> shags a donkey. <laughs> Well, this is shit. My pretty little thing outfit has not arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so Keith, that was on air drop. You know, much uh, speaking of pretty little things, like as much of as like I am, I tell you how much like people are like, oh, you're not real scumbag, Reg, are you fucking farmer or this like whatever. I had to do some like holiday shopping this week, to, like buy some clothes, go on holiday because like most the problem is what I do is that I'll buy like clothes for holiday, like you know, like vests and shorts and shit. And then summer comes on the farm and I just wear them all to the farm and I beat the fuck out of them. They're all full of holes and just wanked out. Like I had a really nice pair of camo shorts, not these ones, another pair. I have multiple pairs of camo shorts because, you oh, know, I am t- tactical as fuck. Um, <laughs> fuck. They got set, they got, not. They got set on fire at buttons. He really fucking isn't, mate. Where's, what, where? Over there. <laughs> Hang on, mate. Seven foot fucking reg there, hedge hopping my no, fuck. The eagles just the fucking zips just chinging away on him. What's the matter, Reg? Never taken a shortcut before? <laughs> Got the old battle rattle on the go there, isn't he? Like trampling through the field. Well, he's all fucking clicking and clacking off the back of his calves. <laughs> and you can hear his flat feet going as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's only over playground, you gun. <laughs> Sounds like a spider wearing Not out of plow anymore. Uh, what? And not out of plow. Why not? Because he said it's bad. Who said it's bad? The soil. The government. No, it's government. The fucking what government. the fuck do they know? Anyway, well, so I, I was... think they've been putting chemicals in the water and turn the freaking oh, frogs, frogs gay! <laughs> so I was doing some like holiday shopping this week and um, I was trying to like work out what I wanted. Like, I was like a few fucking Nike vests, some shorts and like this, that and the other. Anyway, so I go on, sport, I go on Sports Direct because I was like, scum. And, oh no, it got better than that. Then I go on clearance, right? Sort from low to high. <laughs> That was me. Let me guess, you went for the second cheapest option because you're not that scum. Oh, you're not no. on benefits. You're like, I can't go for the cheapest because that'll so, make me look poor. So now I'll go for the got, second he's got, he's got 15 Donne shorts. <laughs> I got <laughs> Lacoste sliders. And he's yeah. got a Lonsdale tracksuit top. <laughs> a cut of Everlast fucking jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> a gold a gold gym singlet. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why Doll had a black eye. <laughs> Did it come in a free mug? 
<laughs> no, I just got all I got was uh, two two really nice uh, nice Nike sort of eighties style vests and a pair of Adidas like sort of jogger style shorts for uh, forty two pounds. I was like, nice deal, nice deal. And then I bought a um, nice, really good, really good. Yeah, and then I <laughs> really good, really nice. <laughs> very much the disappointment of my wife. She was like, don't be buying any weird shit. Like, don't make me look a fool. I was like, all right, no worries. So I bought a, a white T-shirt, you know, like Chanel number no. five, like where it says like Chanel number no. five. It says number no. thirty six Shaolin, <laughs> <laughs> New York. She was like, "Is that something to do with the Wu Tang?" I was like, "No, no, it's, it's no, it's like some designer brand." She was like, "I swear to God, I've heard you say the word Shaolin while rapping to the Wu Tang." I was like, "It's the Wu Tang, bitch. Get used to it." <laughs> Yeah, so. I can imagine him cruising through the he states with his Reebok him, classics on, on his fucking England. I sent him some screenshots. Yeah, and I was like, you like, are trash. Oh yeah, I bought like a load of Nike dry fit camo shit as well because I'm just absolute fucking. That is scum. hideous. Yeah, dry, dry, dry fit in Florida. There's nothing like it. Get honestly, any dry fit shit from Nike is amazing in the heat. It just it just disappears. The sweat. It's fucking incredible. Boof, gone. Boof, gone. Yeah, man, I love it. I right. yeah. Uh, I got one shout out to do. Yeah. Um, so I just want to shout out Miles a minute. He is, and well, happy 21st birthday. I know it's a bit late, but I don't fucking care. Um, I just want to say you are my favorite customer. Mate. Whenever he picks his car up, he brings me some beer. <sighs> Welcome back anytime. That is a way to your heart. God, that's Love not you a millions. Hint, isn't it? I'm I mean, going to say, yeah, uh, Keith, what's that problem? You want to fucking beer? <laughs> I couldn't buy him enough beer. He still wouldn't be able to do it. Take me out for dinner, baby. You brought an IBC, so will be like, fucking hell, shit, it's be a two-week wait. I don't know. Only because the can't full of red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I think we're fit to boogie then. Right. One last shout out. Orly fucking Fox. Reg, do you pay money to tax people? I do pay money to tax people. And the main thing is to pay the right amount of money to the tax people. You don't want to pay too much? Don't you don't want to pay much. The problem, too less? No. The thing is, Doing your own books, you can. It either goes one of two ways. You either try and fucking be as clever as you can and fuck it up and get investigated by the HMRC, which is es no bueno. Um, but or you can end up paying too much, which is what most people do: is end up paying too much and not utilizing, you know, the fucking tax allowances that you have. You know, buying that new thing or buying that or quickly before well, the end the of the tax, tax allowances year. you deserve. Yeah, exactly. And. Um, being cl- being as clever and making making your own money work for you, which is what Ollie Fox is all about. That is what that's what you pay an accountant for, you know. So there you go. Use your fucking brain. Don't don't be don't be get don't, don't fuck your, around and find out. Don't give your money to the government unnecessarily. They're cunts. All right. So just get a decent accountant. Pay what you fucking owe. Nothing more. Nothing less. All right. Just be as clever as you fucking can. Hit them up. Ollie Fox. www.olliefox.co.uk at Ollie Fox on Instagram. Link in the bio. Link in the episode description. You know. Right, we good. We good. Reg, have a lovely time in America. Thank you. I'll be back by the time this comes out, but I will be gone. Hopefully, I will be gone. <laughs> TSA. This is the, the last one we've done. This is the last one we're doing. The next one we're recording, I will be back. So yeah, uh, I hope you everyone's really appreciated this. Me and Marlon and everyone else who's been on has worked like fuck to get this done. <laughs> I'm done now for yeah. That's it. Uh, four weeks. A- four. I think it's four weeks now. We're not recording for. I think. Boof. He's yeah. going to be out of practice when he comes back. We're going to come back. Uh, be fucked. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep me uh, Biff Chip and Kipper up. You mm. better add. You'll get the key stage too if you keep trying. Will I? Yeah. Give you a medal and everything. <laughs> right. Wait. Thanks everyone for listening. Oh, quickly. Got to this point. Fucking rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts. And... Follow us on fucking YouTube because right. we're nearly there. Okay. And uh, yeah, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and rate us five stars on Spotify. We love that very much. I've been Reg. I've been Marlon. I've been Keith. And I've been Hector. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everyone. Knocking a sandwich and I'll take with, like. Yeah.